Hey guys, so we are back again with another reading. I am so excited to bring this reading to you. I am back from my vacation, the vacation from hell that it turned into. So I am really excited to be able to be back in my workspace and just tune in and not have poison ivy covering like 80% of my body anymore. That is pretty much healed. Still have a few patches, but it's mostly gone. So thank you guys for all your well wishes with that. It meant a lot and you guys gave me some great tips, great advice. So I'm really hoping this is going to be an extra good reading now that we can really focus and tune in and no more itchiness you know all over so with that being said today's reading is what makes you attractive why people are drawn to you what people you know just can't stay away when it comes to about you so we are going to do ice cream today i really love these i used them in one other reading but i really wanted to bring them back also i'm kind of running out of food to be honest so i have to order more but with that being said this one is number one and i don't know what flavor this would be sometimes i think like the green is matcha but to be honest they have what looks like a cilantro leaf which you know i love cilantro but, but not on an ice cream so i don't know about that maybe it's one of those like ice cream you know flavors where they do like the mac and cheese or whatever this one to me looks like it would be orange I'm hoping maybe it could be mac and cheese now that I mention it but um, let's hope it's orange so more of a normal choice with like a raspberry which makes sense then we have strawberry um, so it looks really good this one is like a nice kind of normal run-of-the-mill flavor so if you feel drawn to that that one's number three and finally we have chocolate this would be my pick because i always just go for the boring chocolate vanilla choices um yeah i would never order cilantro but to each their own but you guys you want to make sure you go with the energy you feel drawn to not necessarily the one that you would order in the ice cream shop but the energy that is really pulling you in so with that being said i will be quiet now and let you guys tune in to the energy Okay, so hopefully one is really calling your name, you guys. If you need more time to decide, feel free to pause, rewind, and do whatever you need to do, or just mute me and listen from the beginning, um, whatever works. So let's go ahead and jump into pile one. Hello, my lovely pile one. So if you guys picked this green Sunday, this is going to be your reading. You guys have my respect for choosing the cilantro flavored one. That is a bold choice. Although now that I'm looking at it, I see that little... Um, it looks like a green apple, so maybe it's green apple, which would make a lot more sense and sounds really good. But I am so excited for your reading. I already pre-pulled cards, and so I can already feel y'all's energy coming through, and I'm excited for this one. Let's get into it. You guys got the Four of Swords reversed, the Two of Cups. You guys got the Nine of Cups, the Knight of Wands, the Knight of Cups reversed, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Ace of Swords reversed. So I can already feel that you guys have this kind of, I feel like you guys have this fiery, very attractive quality to you. I feel like if you guys either have been hit on a lot in your life and had a lot of people come up to you and like ask you out or have crushes on you, or people are too shy to do that and maybe they like crush on you from afar but definitely you guys exude this very attractive energy and it's kind of complex. I'm getting a lot of like messages like complexity in this reading so I'll, let me try to put it in words but I feel like first of all you guys exude this kind of fiery fun dynamic energy it's almost like I'm getting like party girl vibes or life of the party or extrovert vibes like I feel like you guys are that person that kind of always knows what to say or is just very um like very much always there to have a good time and to like raise the energy level up you know what i mean like you guys exude this even if you're, you're like oh i'm not that way i'm an introvert it's like this is how people perceive you you might just walk around looking kind of like people's image that they have in their mind of like that 
I don't know, I wanna say like almost like most popular girl in school or something like that. Like people just might see you and imagine that you have a stacked social calendar and that you guys always have a party to go to or always have something happening or always have, you know, like a, 10 dates lined up over the course of your week. Like people just see you and they get this dynamic quality to you, like this fiery fire sign type quality, like an Aries, Sag, or Leo. Definitely Leo in particular, I feel like, but it could be any of those. Like there is this kind of exciting quality to you. Like people don't really know what to expect. And I feel like people, what's also interesting is I'm also thinking that the water is really important. We did get three cards relating to water, one reversed, but I I feel like the funny thing is underneath that you guys are actually very sweet and there's kind of this layer of like you guys you guys might have like a fire ascendant and then like a water uh a water sun because I feel like there is this aspect of you where you present as very fun outgoing like kind of like spicy is what I'm getting like you know that person that always like has like a quick comeback or is just like always knows the right joke to make you know how like people will be described as like a party girl who went out to all the you know the hot spots like studio 54 or whatever and like that kind of personality like the the girl that everyone wants to know that always has a fun thing to say like the straw that stirs the drink is a phrase i've heard for that type of personality like you know always has a funny story always has something interesting to say always has like oh my god i went on this date last week kind of quip you know so you guys have that energy but there's also this real sweetness underneath like there's a lot of depth to you guys actually and i think this is part of what people pick up on and i think this is why you guys have this um um, very compelling quality and have had honestly I'm feeling like a lot of people have fallen in love with you even you might not even be aware of like the level of some people's feelings towards you with the two of cups I feel like there there's been like either many of you have had like a deep love relationship but I'm actually hearing from spirit that you guys aren't aware that there have been other people that have been in love with you like multiple it might not be the person that you're thinking of because there's i feel like there's people that you you don't even know about like you you would be like him like but I only talked to him a couple times or something, you know what I mean? But you loom large in their mind. And it's because people see this very de deep, like en water energy to you. Like you guys have this kind of fun, exciting quality, but underneath that, there's also this sweetness and there's this emotion. And it's almost like you guys, some people may meet you. And if they're not that perceptive, they may think like, oh, they're hard as nails or, you know they're just into partying and that's all they care about but the reality is you guys are like a very sweet romantic type of person and i feel like you guys do want real love and want a deep soul connection and you guys are very capable of that like you guys have this emotional depth to you that will make that come forward at the right time you guys will be capable of receiving that and holding that like with the nine of cups i feel like you guys really do have very deep layers to you of emotional reserves like you guys can handle when someone is um you know when someone is upset or when someone is emotional but i don't feel like that's something you guys would project when you first meet someone like it's almost like something i feel like sometimes you guys hold that back or you would rather have people perceive you in this as this knight of wands and you're kind of hiding this knight of cups like you're you're presenting outwardly as being very fun very lighthearted, very like oh my god yay but the reality is you're actually like a real sweetheart underneath and kind of a softy like you guys might cry easily easily or something I'm getting again what I've, I've mentioned this before in other readings but I've noticed in a lot of um, female sex symbols there's this combination of um, Pisces and Aries um, that I've seen a lot and also in some male sex symbols as well but especially I, I notice other combinations for like famous sex symbol men but Pisces Aries comes up in a ton of um, female sex symbols um and part of that has to do with like aries venus which is you know venus transits close to the sun and all this stuff so anyway but i feel like you guys might have some combination of that where you guys may be an aries sun with a pisces venus or vice versa um or just have those placements in your chart or it, it doesn't have to be aries pisces it could be like 
Cancer Leo or something, but I just feel like you guys do give off this vibe of being um, that I see in Aries Pisces where there's like this softness with this hardness. I think that's why it comes through with Aries Pisces because that's such an extreme combination because it's like the end of the zodiac and then the beginning. So it's like this really intense contrast. And you guys give that off really strongly where there is this side to you that's like super, um, super fun, super like edgy, like you can stand up for yourself. You kind of know, you know, you know what to say. You're not shy. And then there's a side to you that's like really soft and mushy, like Pisces energy. Um, and I feel like that's something people find very attractive about you is the duality, like this combination. Um, duality is something that, again, I've I personally have noticed in a ton of sex symbols is that they'll have like one sign that's like a lot, like a lot of placements in one sign that's like total opposite of another sign where they have a lot of placements. And that creates a lot of complexity in someone. And a lot of like people are very intrigued, like, huh, like they seem so this, but then they also seem so that. And how do they have both sides to them? And how are they, you know, so like soft in one moment and so tough in the next? And we find that attractive. You know, it's kind of like that phrase, get you a man who does both. Like you guys have that. You guys have that like sweet, soft kind of wifey side. And then you have that like party girl side. So a lot of people are picking up that on you. And I don't, I know I have some male viewers, so you guys can swap in the pronouns. I'm just getting like a super strong, I guess party girl persona um but you could swap that out for like party boy or um or you know like a guy that has that same kind of quality so let's get into more of the cards we got um i want to do this deck next i pre-pulled so um we got clean it up reversed we got TikTok reverse, we got yin, and we got community. So with yin, that is talking about the feminine energy. And again, that's why I am getting like a feminine vibe for this card, but it could totally be applied to, um, to men and just like swap it out. But I just feel like, you know, I have to say what spirit is bringing up and spirit's just kind of talking specifically about like most of my viewers being female. So anyway, um, I feel like for those of you who are female, you do give off a very feminine vibe. Like I am seeing like archetypes in my mind. They keep showing me like Cher from, um, from Clueless or like Megan Fox from that role she did where she played a cheerleader. I forget what um, the name is, but um, like they're showing me kind of these archetypes of like this really cute, like coolest girl at school kind of vibe you know the girl that all the guys had a crush on kind of a thing like I feel like you guys give off that energy where you wouldn't even be aware of the list of names of people that are attracted to you even if you don't feel like you're popular or you don't feel like you um you know you're not aware of that I feel like there is a ton of people that have crushes on you and like truly big crushes not just like a small crush or like oh yeah they're cute but like you know, they might draw you or like write about you in their diary or just imagine you all the time. Like there are a lot of people that have a crush on you. For those of you who are women, you guys do have a super feminine vibe and this might apply to some men. Um, I also am getting from mess message from spirit, not to like go on and on about this, but I just want to clarify that um, cause it's very specific in this reading, like it's super gendered, but for the, for a guy who's like, well, I'm a really masculine man. This message could apply to you. It's just flip it to like super masculine, but for most in this pile, it's going to be that you give off a very feminine vibe and there's kind of like a feminine power to you, you know, like you guys are very strong in your power, but it's very much in a very, um, like in everything you do, you guys do it in kind of a feminine way. I feel like like if you guys are going out to a party and going into your fire mode and kind of telling a bunch of stories, you would still do it and being like really outgoing and loud. You do it in a very feminine way, you know, like that girl that can command a room and like kind of like Marilyn Monroe energy. And then on the other hand, which she has Venus and Aries, um, but and on the other hand, you guys also have like this soft side that is super watery, it's super feminine super receptive super loving so there's just a ton of like 
energy that you guys express that I feel like plays into like people think of you as being very feminine or if you're a masculine guy very masculine so take what resonates but it's just very much like I feel like there is this duality that plays out that people are super attracted to when it comes to you like they really enjoy the aspect of you that is outgoing and funny and loud and you know will like call someone out and then they also enjoy that kind of soft side and people that don't get to access the soft side they can still sense it and it's almost like the fact that you hide it and the fact that you don't present it to everyone makes it really attractive i feel like there's a quality to you guys with clean it up reverse where you guys are kind of like a mess at times like i'm also seeing with the four of swords reverse that some of you guys just might not get a lot of sleep or might have like an upended sleep schedule where you're just kind of like running around like you guys might be like actually clumsy like kind of like spilling things or like oh my god i forgot my car keys or i forgot my wallet or i forgot this um but i feel like again people find that very attractive about you like you know how the manic pixie dream girl in movies she's always like tripping over stuff and she's always like forgetting stuff or walking into a post and then like the love interest will catch her like people again this stuff like people find it attractive they find it attractive that some of you guys might be like adhd or be in like a bit of a hurry all the time or be like oh my god I left this or but again all this stuff people it plays into this energy it's such a complex thing I'm having a hard time describing it so I hope I don't sound too all over the place but again I feel like people find like if you guys are forgetful or sometimes you choose the wrong words or say some like that is something that people find very endearing about you and again it's almost I feel like for those of you who are the feminine energy it brings out a protectiveness in like a lot of the masculine so people actually find that to be again playing into this yin energy of like oh my gosh that's so adorable that they forgot their keys again you know um so yeah so basically everything you do people are liking <laughs> Um, so we also got the two of swords, we got the nine of pentacles, we got the sun, we got the wheel, we got the wands, the four of wands, and we got the five of swords, or excuse me, the five of wands reverse. I don't know why there's a sword on there, but these are done like in that, in the, in like the traditional way. But anyway, um, so yeah, I feel like first of all, this card really you know represents like there's this guy watching this couple go at it and so um there's a lot of people you you might not even be aware of how many people like have a crush on you check your social media look out for you or you might be aware you might be like yeah i kind of know i'm like that person you might have had a lot of people reach out to you slide into your dms from years past like hey you know i know we didn't talk in high school but like you know i saw you you're looking pretty good and like you might have had an, a lot of those kind of awkward like dm slides or people contacting you or texting you or like hey i got your number through a friend or some of you you might not get that because again i think a lot of people are intimidated about you and there's this assumption that you guys have like a rolodex of dudes and a rolodex of dates lined up and like a lot of people are you know you have a ton of options and so people know that they know that other people have a crush on you so there might be those people that just never step forward because they're like i don't have a chance and i'm not going to be rejected but just know that you are on a lot of people's minds as like a fantasy um like this in the wheel card like you can see this woman looking at herself in the mirror and she's just really beautiful some of you guys might also have red hair or you just give off that kind of energy of like a fiery redhead you know that stereotype of um redheads as being kind of fiery and having like a temper and again this is something people find really attractive about you but i just love how she's kind of examining herself in the mirror and she's really beautiful and she's just kind of like feeling herself like fanning out her hair and stuff that's like you guys i feel like are just also physically attractive like that needs to be stated maybe some of you guys just have really good bone structure or some of you might put effort into your appearance like you might do your hair and you know take care of your makeup or whatever but i feel like a lot of you guys also just have a natural beauty where it's not something where you like need to be like 
doing a ton to improve things because you guys already kind of catch people's eye no matter what. But some of you guys, I feel like, again, you just might enjoy like doing your hair, doing your nails, doing your clothes. And so there's this vibe that people like look at you and they just see you as being very perfect and they see you as being very attractive and beautiful. And it's kind of like, wow, how did that person look so good? You might have you know, people just assuming that you have like a huge wardrobe or you have a huge amount of makeup or you have a huge hair salon in your house that like you get it professionally done and you're like, no, I just, <laughs> I just brush it out myself and like, you know, blow dry it myself or whatever. But people just assume that like, wow, this person has it all. They must have so much at their disposal. They must have so many clothes because I feel like you guys just kind of look very perfect. Um, with the sun, I also feel like, again, with like this Leo fire very bright energy you guys just give off this kind of radiance it's like you guys are just in many ways the center of attention and I feel like here also with the two of swords you can see this guy is giving this rose to this woman and she just looks so disinterested and I feel like that's you in a lot of cases you guys or this is how people you know this is how people perceive you is as you guys are just like you have so many people interested in you and that almost increases the interest people have in you. Like they perceive you as being this prize, almost like a trophy wife or I guess like a trophy husband where people just assume that you have a ton of offers coming in and it's almost like when you find out, you know, maybe you were interested in buying like a dress but you were kind of on the fence about it and then you suddenly three other people run in and are like, hey, where's that dress that you know, the dress that that girl is looking at, I'll buy it. And suddenly you're like, no, no, I want it. Like, excuse me. Um, and so it's like, the more people just perceive you as having so many, so much interest in you, that it kind of creates a frenzy. And it's like, you know, maybe they were interested, they were interested at first before, but then when they kind of sense more of your energy and they just perceive that you have so many people interested in you it makes them even more like oh my god oh my god let me get on this so I feel like yeah for many of you there's something very attractive about your hair like people are very attracted and may fantasize about your hair um, specifically in like running their fingers through your hair I feel like you guys also might have like an attractive chest or an attractive like upper torso um there's just something I feel like again you guys might have like an hourglass body type or just like a small waist and like bigger hips or something but there's something for those of you who are women that's very like feminine about you or for those of you who are in your feminine energy there's something very feminine about you and about your body that people really like gravitate to and really find so attractive so oh my god speaking of do I'm feminine <laughs> really like spirit is not playing around with these messages emotional freedom luminosity and abundance so yeah you guys are luminous I love that card and when I was pre-pulling and that came out I was like oh of course that like yes you guys have such a it's like you guys are the center of attention you know how she's just exuding like she just has these rays of sun coming out of her and it's like all eyes are on her you would imagine that if anyone was standing next to her like you wouldn't pay attention to them because you'd be like oh my god why is light shining out from behind this person and what's going on but that's kind of like you guys like no one is going to be looking i have to say no one is going to be looking so much at your friends and stuff in fact that might be an issue with you sometimes where like people get jealous or whatever although i do sense that a lot of you guys have some friends or you guys are very charismatic and you're like well liked so even if people do get jealous they might kind of try to like play it close to the chest and not come out with it they might try to like just cover that up a little and not you know not be super upfront about their jealousy because they you know they know that like you're not the one to go against because other people would be like what did you just say about her no she's awesome like what so but you might have some jealousy that you provoke or insecurity that you bring out um so yeah there's something very nurturing about you guys is what I'm saying is people really like how fun you guys are and that you guys kind of have like the quick comebacks and you you always have something kind of funny and witty to say and you guys have this fiery, fun quality, but what they also sense is that you guys are very sweet. With emotional freedom, I feel like people really are attracted to that you guys are very, like I'm hearing like a soft place to land. Like I feel like 
if someone was to come to you and say like, you know, talk about their childhood trauma or talk about, you know, that they're really upset about something and cry in front of you, you would be so sweet and so loving about it. You guys would be so nurturing and so receptive and you'd be able to handle it. Some people can't handle that. Like they cannot handle when someone brings a lot of emotion to them and they're, they just kind of freeze up, you know, especially if someone has a ton of earth or air in their chart, they might just not be able to receive it. And they're like, uh, what do I do with this? I don't know what to say, you know? That's not you guys. You guys are very nurturing and loving. And if someone was to have a horrible day and come to you and just start crying and kind of dump, you know, all their issues from the day on you, you would be totally loving and be able to handle it. And you would be like, oh my God, like it's okay. And you would just know what to say and how to deal. And so people sense that about you. And it's another thing that makes you attractive. I feel like, like not everyone wants to be a parent. So I'm not trying to freak out anyone who you know, doesn't want to be a parent or whatever, but this is an energy that you give off that I think is like a very deep energy that people are picking up on, but like you guys would make a good mom. And that's like something that I think a lot of people pick up on, on a very deep level. Like they might not consciously be aware of it, but I feel like a lot of the, like it, the guys that are attracted to you, or maybe, I don't know if you're a guy, the girls, but like, um, they are sensing that you would make a really great parent like you guys would be so nurturing so sweet so loving and supportive and it's like people just really sense that about you and again that might not, uh, not be something that they consciously admit to themselves like oh they're not probably consciously thinking like oh I want to start a family and like you know two weeks but deep down on that kind of like really deep evolutionary level they're kind of like wow they would make a great parent and they would take care of my kids if I ever you know we ever had a pregnancy issue so yeah that's coming through so don't be stressed if you don't want to get pregnant but that's just an energy that I'm picking up on so we got magician and the mirror community again um, we got door to romance reversed and angel of balance reversed so i feel like again with door to romance a lot of people just assume that you guys like even though you guys give off a vibe of being very sweet and loving you don't give off a vibe of being super needy or super um like desperate to get married you know what i mean or desperate for a relationship like you guys even though you guys give off a very feminine vibe it's kind of like feminine like samantha from sex in the city or something where in i'm not saying you give off a vibe of someone that is like having a ton of sex with a ton of different people um at all um not so much that but more her energy more her vibe of like you know she just seems very like happy with her life and very fun fiery like she just lo loves to go out loves to have a t good time with her friends and like a guy is secondary and that's kind of the energy i'm picking up on with you where i feel like you guys don't seem like the type of person that like made a scrapbook of like their wedding when they were like 12 years old you know or like have pictured their wedding dress or are obsessively like take like counting the clock to see like oh my god am I gonna get married they I feel like you guys just come off as very secure with yourself and you are not like overly obsessed with I need to be in a relationship it needs to happen so a lot of people sense this kind of self-sufficiency about you and again I think people are intimidated by that romantically but they're also very attracted to it they find it very attractive that you it's not like you guys are desperate for a relationship or for a man or for whatever you you guys are very much happy with your life, happy with your friends, happy with everything you have going on and like a relationship would just be an added benefit. So I feel like it's kind of like, you know how they'll tell someone to play hard to get? It's like you guys don't need to pretend to be hard to get because you guys really are. You're happy with your life. You're happy with what you have going on. And if someone is going to come into your life, they'd really need to add to it. You're not just desperately looking to fill a slot and like, oh, I just need someone and I don't care who it is. You guys are kind of like you guys have the power to be choosy and selective so again that intimidates a lot of people i'm also seeing like again this is something that's coming through where like like it's kind of like the not sleeping aspect or i feel like there's again you guys have this like go 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 happy energy um but sometimes it may go into the territory of kind of like 
not getting enough sleep or not not being like super balanced or super good about like taking your vitamins every day and you know being really grounded and like sleeping in like you guys kind of give off like a wild fun quality but sometimes you might not be the best at I don't know like taking care of yourself I guess or kind of like you guys have such a go, go, go fun vibe and lifestyle that sometimes there might be like this at this kind of like overlooking maybe your physical health aspect or overlooking one area of your life to focus on another. But again, that's something people find attractive about you. People like this duality about you. I feel like things that in other people someone would be like oh well they should really work on that it's like you just you're giving off such a beautifully sexual kind of alluring vibe that anything you do that normally would be like oh it's kind of a turn off like you guys make it attractive you know have you ever seen like it's I like you know how Rihanna who is also a Pisces with an Aries Venus so that keeps coming up so funny um but Rihanna she um she can wear like an outfit and if you put that same outfit on anyone else it would look atrocious and on Rihanna it looks impeccable and amazing and like oh my god and it'll sell out you know and so it's kind of like that thing that you guys have where something like you guys having a bit of imbalance in your life or not sleeping enough or kind of going too hard that might be unattractive in one other person and people might be like oh no they need to fix that whereas with you you just pull it off because you're bringing all this other energy to the table so it's almost like anything you guys do is going to automatically be attractive so we also got precious time celebration abundance transformation and divination so i feel like you guys do again with abundant abundance has come through twice now um and so again there's this aspect to you of maybe you guys just and we got the queen of pentacles reversed maybe people just sense that you guys are destined to have a lot of money i mentioned earlier in the reading trophy wife which came to mind and i feel like that is something people pick up on with you where maybe you guys grew up wealthy or you just gave off that vibe or you come off as someone who is going to be marrying wealthy because you guys have this super attractive quality where people um are just so drawn to you that people just kind of assume like you are headed for wealth and money and a high status in life it's kind of like those superlatives at the end of high school like most likely to become a millionaire or most likely to become famous or most likely to become a supermodel i feel like you guys would like win all of that or you guys would at least be in the you know final rounds of competition because you guys just again i i think because of your magnetic kind of magic quality that you have that a lot of people just are like i know they're going to do really well and I know they're going to accomplish so much and it's just kind of like a given for you so yeah that is something that again people find attractive because it makes th that same like competitive aspect it brings out that like scarcity aspect where people are like okay I really better get in there soon because this person I know they're going to have a lot of options to choose from so also you guys have a super fun vibe with celebration I think you guys I, there's so many cards that have to do with like friends community fun so I really feel like you guys just are almost like the life of the party you guys just make things fun you guys might be really funny and just always have a joke or always have something fun to say like I want to go out with y'all like you guys just seem like you guys would be a blast you guys might be the type to dance on the tables at like a nightclub or this is the energy you're putting off where people just like laugh around you you guys might be the type that always is smiling even when you're on your own you kind of tell jokes to yourself or you dance around to music or you're kind of goofy like but people just have fun with you and that's that's something people really find attractive so we also got the page of um or the knight of cups or excuse me of pentacles oh my god um we got the three of wands so bad at reading these symbols we got the ace of wands and we got the ten of swords and we got the nine of cups again so you can see from the image on like these cards and i mean that to a certain extent as well like i mean does the girls on this on these cards they just look like they <laughs> 
I mean, the guys look pretty interested. You know what I mean? Like the guys look pretty obsessed with these women. So again, I feel like Spirit just wants to say like you guys just give off this extremely attractive vibe. I feel like this is my like most attractive pile. I got to be honest, like or like energy wise, like you guys are just you guys just have this like magical quality to you that brings out this intense sexual interest in you so you know it's like with this the three of wands they're all kind of fighting for her attention they're all kind of desperately trying to get her to laugh and pay attention to them and one has like flowers and they're all gathered around kind of fighting over her like that's for sure what's going on with you whether people step forward and actually present their interests and send that risky text of like hey i've always had a crush on you a lot of people don't feel comfortable actually sending that text but that doesn't mean they don't have those emotions or those thoughts or those feelings and again i feel like because some of you guys do give off this vibe of being so attractive that a lot of times that is going to up the intimidation factor so even someone that would normally be intimidated sending a text being like hey i've always had a crush on you i mean that's an intimidating text to send period point blank but especially to someone like you that has so much interest in you it's really intimidating and so a lot of people might not even be able to bring themselves to go ahead and click send on that but it doesn't mean they don't have a huge crush on you we also got the ace of wands again which is really about sexual attraction so i just feel like you guys truly give off this super sexy energy that people truly are very attracted to you on a very deep level you know um they really find you to be like this kind of again i'm getting trophy wife prize like you know like like this kind of energy i don't know who this dude is he looks really creepy the way he's holding her but i i don't know if he's like assaulted or something i don't know what he's wearing on his head it looks kind of like you know a sultan's turban or something um i don't know if that's an authentic one but um but the whole situation like it just looks very possessive and kind of crazy like you know and i feel like i feel like he looks like he's a very powerful guy and then she's the woman he picked and that's very much i feel like the vibe people get where people just would assume that you guys would end up with someone who has a ton of money or someone who has a ton of power or someone who is extremely powerful or you know has their pick of things like like you guys would end up with that person that has dated supermodels or something or you guys would end up with that person who has dated extremely you know extremely other beautiful women so you guys just i feel like there's a lot of people that just would assume you're kind of out of their league and it's almost like they just would figure that they really just don't have a chance with you so we also got spiritual union partnerships and alliances rest and rejuvenate emotional loss memories of love and temptation so also with these cards emotional loss and the ten of swords and memories of love i feel like for some people there is an aspect where you have actually caused them a heartbreak maybe you guys did have like a big meaningful relationship um I, i'm not sure but something that's coming through for all of you guys is that there are people in your past that are kind of heartbroken that you didn't work out so some of you guys if you guys had like a very big impactful relationship that you're thinking of that person does definitely check up on your social media and definitely just is like kind of really regretful about how things turned out and if you haven't had a relationship with that it's more like again because you cause crushes in so many people i feel like they just you know some of them have been like a little bit heartbroken i don't mean to make you guys feel bad or anything because it's nothing you did negatively but there is this thing where people look at you kind of wistfully and i feel like for many people you might have been their first love first crush or someone that they really really thought a lot about you know and it's almost like they look back wistfully or with some pain or some regret because you you know you meant something to them um and so 
yeah so so that's something i don't think you guys should feel bad about it but i think that's just the nature of this kind of beautiful energy you guys are exuding that you guys are going to you know bring people in i'm i'm, I'm actually seeing like the sirens from odysseus you know how they lured men to their deaths on the sea because they would sing their beautiful songs and the men would be so attracted to them so i i don't think you guys are doing this on purpose and i don't want to make you feel bad at all because it's not your fault but i just feel like you you guys are so attractive that inevitably you guys are going to bring in people that just kind of fall in love with you and it's not your fault it's a credit to you but that's just something that I feel like people do think about that with you and honestly a lot of times that might add to your attractiveness where people can kind of sense that it's kind of like the you know the ship the sailors they know they're not supposed to go to the sirens and that makes the desire even stronger where they're like oh i know i'm gonna get my heart broken and ooh, i want it you know so um so don't feel bad about that because it's nothing you guys did maliciously but you are like temptation to people i mean people find you very sexually attractive and a lot of people have had very deep emotions when it comes to you i feel like for others of you you guys might have had that big romance that big love that big impactful like one that got away type of first love deep energy like big romantic soulmate type of vibe and that's something that also makes you more attractive because people can sense that and i see that in a lot of people that have had like super intense romantic relationships where it's it's so bizarre because you would think people would be like, oh, okay, so they're off limits now. Their heart is taken for the time being, so I'm just gonna not be interested. But it's the opposite. I think so many people dream about having one of those deep soulmate twin flame connections and they want that so badly that when they see someone else experiencing that, they actually, even though it's like that person's, <laughs> they're already taken, they're already, their heart is already spoken for for the time being at least, they get even more drawn to them because they're like, I want a piece of that. I want a fraction of it. I just want to experience even like a half second of it, you know? So they're unconsciously drawn to people that are already in these twin flame kind of situations and already have their heart very wrapped up in that. So the fact for those of you who have had a very deep soulmate heartbreak or deep romantic connection um, that's actually adding to your attractiveness to others people are picking up on that and again also the person that you had that soulmate relationship with they might have been a very like high level type of person maybe someone that was very i don't know popular or wealthy or powerful or attractive um, or that's just an assumption people make and so it's like again there's this energy of like well they just assume that you are kind of like the creme de la creme only dating other creme de la creme so yeah there that that energy is coming through really strong i hope i'm explaining it well but um people are attracted to some of the relationships you have i think that love relationship but also some of your friendships so there might even be some kind of users type of people that maybe they're not they don't have the kind of social status they would like and they see you with a very high social status and they're very drawn to you as a result and they almost want to kind of like experience that through you and they're just really drawn to you because i've had your social status be brought up like multiple times during the reading which i usually don't really speak on but it's been brought up over and over and over so i feel like for many of you guys you guys might be kind of a social butterfly with a lot of friends and that might be something that people are picking up on and kind of uh, i don't want to say using but kind of like maybe they want their own status and they can't get it so they kind of fantasize like well if i could just go on a date with her then uh, you know i'd have that status kind of like the you know nerdiest guy in school fantasizing about if i could just go on a date with the head cheerleader suddenly i'd be cool you know what i mean so that kind of energy has come through a lot for you guys so spirit is there anything else you want me to say no they're saying that's it so i feel like <laughs> this was a really interesting reading i wasn't sure how to explain a certain concepts but i mean you guys are really fun i would love to go out with you guys like 
we would have a good time because this is a fun card this is a fun pile and you guys just seem like a blast so i mean you guys should feel really good about this pile you guys are giving off a super strong attractive quality and actually i asked for some guidance on what reading to do before i started this because i was kind of unsure of like just what to talk about and um i got rehab by rihanna with like featuring justin timberlake who i don't really like but anyway i love rihanna so um but that song i feel like that describes how a lot of people feel about you like you guys give off this vibe of you know that song is all about like being addicted to love and i feel like a lot of people it's like they're drawn to you they know that maybe your heart is taken or that they can't really get through to you because you you have so many other options you guys are busy you guys have a vibrant life and you, your kind of heart is occupied a little bit um but they're just so drawn to you and they're so they can't stay away and the more they know that about you and the more they kind of know you're going to break their heart the more turned on they are the more attracted they are because because it's like one of those faded romance type of things so anyway this was like a really complex reading again i had a hard time explaining some of these concepts so i hope i did an okay job you guys please let me know if it resonates in the comments i love hearing your stories and i would really love to hear about this pal because y'all seem like you have a lot of fun stories so i want to know what's going on <laughs> with you guys in particular but also please make sure to like and subscribe and turn on notifications i post every few days so if you want to see more videos make sure you're subbed with notifications on so you can find out as soon as i post i will see you guys in the next reading sending you guys so much love and light have an amazing day guys bye hey pal too so if you guys picked this orange sunday this is going to be your reading it looks really good great choice um yeah i guess it would probably taste like a creamsicle which is delicious so anyway let's get into it i pre-pulled your card so let's see what they have to say we got the seven of cups the eight of wands the queen of cups the um six of wands the strength reversed the the empress the world the magician and temperance so i feel like first of all there's a psychic quality that you guys really give off with the seven of cups the queen of cups and the magician you guys do give off a very psychic energy some of you guys might be water signs you might be you know a pisces cancer scorpio or, or you just might be really into like astrology and tarot and stuff like that or you guys just manifest or do ritual but I feel like you guys give off a vibe where people can tell that you guys are into that kind of thing. I'm getting that you guys are very kind of, I'm almost hearing like soft energy. Like you guys are not like fighter type people you know you guys are not the type to just randomly start a fight with someone or randomly like go at it there is kind of this soft receptive quality to you that I think a lot of people find really attractive I think a lot of people see you as someone who is very um, wise and kind of you know how like a wise old lady or something is just like chill and she doesn't need to feel the need to involve herself in every conversation or make jokes to fill the silence like i feel like there is this kind of quiet knowing with you guys you guys might be very evolved souls that have kind of been around a few times like been you know across several lifetimes you guys may have manifested on this earth so it's like people can sense this wiseness about you people can sense this kind of like again i keep hearing quiet knowing i'm almost seeing like a medicine woman from like native american times so i feel like you guys have this kind of spiritual power that a lot of people pick up on and a lot of people sense that about you that you guys are just very knowledgeable about a lot of different subjects but you're not really the type to like stunt on your knowledge you might once in a while someone's like being really annoying and you're like well actually let me tell you a little bit about it because i actually know everything about this subject in particular you know you might know be one of those people that just knows a lot about like a lot of different subjects you know like one of those friends that you can take out to trivia night and you know they're gonna like know random answers and you're like how when did you learn about like the history of panama in like the 1800s and they just randomly know it you know that might be kind of you guys because i feel like there is this very 
like knowledgeable intelligent quality to you but it's in such a deep way and it's in a very pure way it's not like you guys want to come off as super brainy or being like let me tell you that i know everything it's like you guys just have this very quiet um knowledgeable like reliable quality to you that i think people find really attractive um there's also yeah there's this kind of like softness to you that i think people find very sexy and people find very like they're just drawn to it you know it's kind of feminine in its way like i i mean we did get a lot of like feminine cards and i do think there is this feminine quality to many of you where you're not feeling the need to like go out and fight or go and like prove your strength strength or go out and like let everyone know that you're not to be messed with it's like you guys are just kind of like calm confident in yourselves it's kind of this quiet calm confidence and I think that a lot of people are drawn to people like that you know it's kind of like the strong but silent type or like you know that you guys just you don't feel the need to brag you're not really someone that needs to be the center of attention but you just kind of know a lot and people can sense that about you and you guys are very have a very like pure heart in that way so let's go into some of the other cards we got so we also got let me go from this deck first we got serendipity deep knowing the fates reversed new life and all that glitters so i feel like many of you guys may have had some kind of like a new start in life or some kind of a major change where you guys may have been on one path and then it's like you switched to another if that makes sense like maybe you guys were headed in a certain direction and kind of things all fell apart and i feel like that actually gives you guys this very attractive quality where people can kind of sense that there's more to you than you present on the surface there's kind of like a public image to you and then there's like a private side you know what i mean there is like a lot of depth to you that i think people pick up on like i feel like you know have you ever had a coworker or a person in your like at school or something where like you don't know that much about them because they don't talk that much but then you find out later like that they did something really cool or they had this really intense story I know for me there was someone in my high school that I thought he was pretty attractive just physically um, but then um, he was just always really quiet in class and so I was just kind of like okay like he's just really quiet not you know not that much there you could kind of like I was intrigued but you know I wasn't gonna like come up and pester him with questions and then we found out later like there was all this kind of family drama that he went through and it actually became like a big deal I don't know like it was like a public story or whatever for some reason and um so everyone found out all this stuff that he had been dealing with and like I had no idea that he was dealing with all this stuff at home and it honestly just made him much more attractive to me because I was like I didn't know that he was dealing with that and having to go to school every day and I you know like not to reduce someone's pain into like an attractiveness thing but I think sometimes when you see someone is very resilient and see someone has been through a lot and they're still really strong and they still are just kind of stoically taking it you know what I mean they're just not they're, so many people nowadays can be so whiny about the smallest thing or just like freak out over anything I think it says a lot when someone has like a quiet strength to them and that's something that I think comes in really strong I feel like a lot of you guys might have like a very active dream life and there's something very almost like I don't know what I mean I'm hearing magnetic but also like mysterious about you guys like they're like there's people that they know that you have like an interesting story or they know you have stuff going on but it's almost like they can't they, you're not the type to pour out your life story to someone when you just first met them you're not the type to you know just randomly start being like yeah and so anyway um my ex-husband dumped me and yeah he left me for like this younger girl and he's just full of drama like nothing wrong with that i mean i'm the type to like tell people you know my stuff i mean i get comments <laughs> that are like stop talking about 
<laughs> your own life or whatever, but I just like to share. And so I, you know, I don't think there's anything wrong with sharing, but you guys have, I, I feel like there is this mysteriousness about you. Like people want to know because you don't put it all out there and you don't just dump everything on everyone. You guys keep a lot of mystery to yourself. It's almost like people know that in order to really get to know you, that they're going to have to win you over. And in that sense, you're kind of like a prize, you know, because you're just not going to give it away to any average person. You're not just going to, it's not that you're cold or you guys are, you know, withholding deliberately, but you know, you guys know that you are special and you're a little bit protective of yourselves. And I think that that is very attractive to people. People want to know more about you. They can't figure you out at first glance. And so it's almost like, you know, they're attracted to you at first, but it builds over time. You know, they tr maybe try to introduce themselves to you. And instead of you picking up the conversation and being like, oh my God, hi, it's so nice to meet you. Um, yeah, well, it's funny you're wearing that blouse. My favorite color is green. I love green. And yeah, I mean, I do you want to go out for drinks? I, I blah, blah, blah. I have an ex-boyfriend that did a lot of, like, you guys are not that. You'll just be like, oh, hi, nice to meet you. And you're okay with the awkward silence and you let them fill in the blanks and you let them, you know, meet you halfway or you like wait for them to make the effort. And I think that people find that very attractive because there's almost a sense sometimes where they're like, wait a minute, like, shouldn't I know more about this person? Or how do I, how do they have still so much mystery to them? You know, I'm kind of, what's coming to mind is like, I've heard a lot of like marriage counselors or people who will talk about marriage and they'll say that you have to keep the mystery, you know, and sometimes that's controversial and people will be like, well, why can't I, you know, just be super honest with my spouse or whatever. But I feel like that's something that you guys just do naturally. You guys are kind of naturally hard to get. It's not like you're doing this on purpose, but you guys are protective of yourselves. You guys, I feel like maybe some of you guys have been through heartache or you guys had a difficult childhood or something. And so it's like, you guys just know that you're not going to just blindly trust everyone and just tell everyone everything. And so I feel like people really respect that. They sense a lot of power about that and they're very attracted to that. They're very drawn in by that and it makes them kind of want to step it up like, oh, okay, so my usual pickup line wasn't, it's not really working this time. And you know, the usual lines that maybe I would use and maybe usually I'd give, buy someone one drink and they'd loosen up and tell me everything, but I'm not really getting anything. This person is, it's like you guys also have a lot of dignity to you, you know? You guys aren't the type to just let loose and make a fool of yourself and drink too much, you know, and just pour out your heart. You guys are very much like dignified and kind of graceful. Many of you guys might be very graceful just physically. Like, I feel like there's something about the way you guys move your body that is almost like a cat. I'm seeing like a cat, you know, the way cats walk where they just kind of put one paw in front of the other like that and just have like this slinky way of walking. Some of you guys just might move that way where like the way you, you know, walk out of a room is very like very beautiful lines are created, you know, and you guys are very kind of poised and aware of yourselves and you guys are not going to tolerate, you know, someone coming at you sideways or or not with the kind of respect that you deserve. So we also got balance, patience, harmony, disruption, material and spiritual prosperity, and passion ignited. So it's really interesting, like this combination of things. Again, I just feel like many of you guys might have gone through some kind of a heartbreak or some kind of like, I don't know how to describe it, trauma or some kind of difficulty in life. It doesn't even necessarily have to be romantic, although it could have been, but I feel like there was some kind of upheaval. Like maybe some of you guys had a very dysfunctional childhood or, you know, there was some situation where you lost all your money or you guys, you know, had some kind of like difficulty that you had to go through. Um, and I feel like you guys have come out of that a lot stronger, but it's almost like, you know what I'm seeing is like a warrior that has a lot of scars or something. And the warrior is still like, you know how you, if you meet someone that's like a warrior and has 
like I said, a ton of scars and has been through it and came back from war, that person is probably not going to be like, oh my God, let's go out for drinks on Tuesday. Oh my God, it was such a blast. We had drinks and it was so much fun. We danced on the table. It was wild. I had a few too many tequila shots. Like they're just not going to be in that kind of energy. They're going to be a lot more stoic because it's like they've been through it. They've done, you know, they've seen it all, but there's a very attractive quality about that warrior because you're like, wow, there's something missing mysterious like you can just kind of sense that there's a lot of depth that there's a lot of stories that I have to tell and there's layers and you don't just get access to those layers right away you know like some people just present it to you on a silver platter but no you have to work for it you have to put in the work you have to peel those layers back one by one and see what's behind the curtain and I feel like that's you guys like people know they have to have patience when dealing with you and I feel like in general you guys are also patient like you guys also go into things um with a very calm energy like you guys are willing to deal with you know strife when it comes up you guys are willing to take your time on something you guys are not going to be flustered if you know someone's like well if you don't you know do this and i'm dumping you you're like okay bye and you're not really someone that like feels the need to overly perform or feels the need to win people over and like desperately search for attention you know you guys are not like attention starved people there's a lot of dignity and like you guys knowing your worth some of you guys also like have this very almost like Libra quality to you where you guys have this balance and this kind of Mm, how to describe it just kind of you guys are very like I feel like mentally you guys are very well off is what I want to say or very balanced or very like you guys are not all over the place emotionally and like super fluctuating from being sad to happy you guys are able to deal with a lot of the you know difficult emotions that may come up or a lot of the troubles that come up in a relationship you guys are very mentally well balanced and well structured and very strong in that sense and i feel like people when they meet you they understand innately that you would make a great spouse or a great long-term partner because you guys have this kind of calm receptive it's almost like you guys have queen of cups is a great example you guys have this kind of queen empress energy of just being really calm you know how queen elizabeth in england like she's just very unflappable and like crazy stuff will happen and everyone else will be freaking out and she's just kind of like really chill every time at like her appointment she'll just show up and read her speech and she gets back in her car and she leaves and she just she's not you know all over the place and she's not trying to like to crack jokes or like perform for people or like start juggling or you know do a jig to make people happy she just shows up she knows that people are there to see her and that her presence is enough and she's very strong in her power in that sense because probably because you know she's been a queen for like however many years since she was like 18 or something or or even younger um so she's very she's very accepted of the fact that like i have this innate power and i feel like that's something you guys radiate and give off that you guys are powerful and you know that about yourselves so we also got the fool we got the knight of pentacles the knave of swords the eight of pentacles the Five of Swords, the Lovers, the King of Pentacles, and the Queen of Pentacles. So it's so funny that we got the King and Queen of Pentacles and also the Lovers. So some of you guys might have had like a really deep love relationship and it's almost like people can pick that up about you. They know that you guys have had this kind of great love and they or or maybe that's just something I'm, I'm feeling for some of you that hasn't happened yet but it might it, it might just be something in your energy field where you guys give off this energy of someone that is heading in that direction and again would make a really great partner um so it's funny with queen and knight and or queen and king of pentacles and we got was it the knight of pentacles um yeah the pentacles are like super um earth energy and so it's very kind of slow and steady and very calm and that's definitely a vibe i'm getting with you guys some of you guys might be virgos or um capricorns or tauruses but there's this kind of quiet dignity you guys have where you guys are not feeling the need to 
you know, perform for someone or to get attention or to please anyone. I feel like you guys are just not people pleasers. So many people struggle with people pleasing, trying to get people to like them, feeling like they need to always have something to say or fill in the blanks in the conversation or, you know, they're desperately obsessed with like, oh my God, my coworker doesn't like me and it's grating on me and I can't deal with it. And that is not you guys. Like you guys are like, if you don't like me, I don't care. Like it doesn't bother me. You're very strong in your queen energy. Just like Queen Elizabeth probably doesn't care if, you know, some random person on the street hates the Queen of England. She's like, okay, and I'm still the queen. So I don't care. A lot of other people like me. Um, and so you guys are very confident in yourselves. You guys are very sure of yourselves. And there's also this strength with kind of also, I feel being able to speak very well. I feel like you guys are often quiet. You're not necessarily the person that is constantly talking and constantly gabbing and constantly making jokes or whatever, but it's like you guys, when you do speak, it has a lot of power and it has a lot of impact and people are kind of like, oh, oh my God, wow, okay, I didn't, mm. Like when you guys do speak, you can like shut it down. You know how sometimes there'll be someone who's really quiet and everyone's like, well, they must not be that good with their words and then they'll speak up and say something and everyone kind of in shock like I feel like that's a lot of you guys you guys people may sometimes be like oh well they're really quiet so they must be socially awkward or something like that and then you're like no, no, just wait a moment. And then you know exactly what to say to kind of let them know and put them in check a little bit of like, no, no, you got the wrong one. I'm actually really powerful. There's also, again, this very dreamy quality that you guys have where I feel like you guys kind of sometimes seem lost in your own head. Maybe some of you guys do write fan fiction or write stuff or write songs or poetry or write or writing books or very artistic or something. But I feel like you guys have this kind of private world where it's not just, again, there's so many hidden depths to you. And I feel like people sense that where they meet you and they don't know what you guys have going on. They don't know exactly what, you know, if you guys are into a certain genre or a certain subject, I feel like people wouldn't know that off the bat. They wouldn't meet you and be like, oh my God, this person watches anime, I can just tell. But it's like they can sense that there's this other world you guys are a part of, like almost like I'm seeing someone straddling two worlds where it's like you may be talking to someone in one moment, but you're also thinking about like that storyline that I'm working on. Okay, so, and then I'll have them go into the coffee shop and blah, blah, like you guys, have this kind of interior world and I think that gives you a very attractive quality again it's almost like I keep getting you guys are really hard to get hard to get so I feel like even when you're talking to someone in a way because you have this very vibrant interior world and dream world that it's like you're in the conversation, but you're kind of not. You're kind of head in the clouds. You're kind of talking to them, but you're also kind of, you know, in this other creative space. And again, a lot of you guys are really, really psychic. So I see that a lot in a lot of psychic and creative types um, where even though you guys are engaged in this world you guys might be kind of like on the astral plane as well or thinking about some of your spiritual practices that some of you may have um, but it's kind of like people can sense that there's a lot of depth and like hidden layers to you you know you guys are kind of like a building have you ever seen like a building that has a really deep bomb shelter like I think they built some of these in like the 60s and stuff um, back during the kind of you know in the US where there was a lot of fear of like a nuclear war with Russia at the time. And so there would be, you know, a house that was like a one level house um, and it looked normal from the outside and then you'd open it and you know, there'd be like a hidden compartment and then there'd be like six layers underneath that would go down really deep down into the earth, into the earth like six levels deep, you know, and they would have like all these different compartments. I feel like that's you guys where, you know, someone kind of meets you and they, they, they just get a sense that what you're showing on the surface is not the whole story and that you guys have a lot of depth, a lot of levels, a lot of hidden stuff going on. Um, and I feel like people are just very intrigued by that about you. They're just very wanting to know more. They're just very like, what is the story here? And again, it's partially made more attractive because you guys don't 
say it all. You know how like sometimes a celebrity or a singer or a musical artist or an actress will, they'll announce like, I have a special event coming up and everyone starts freaking out and they're like, what is it? What's it going to be? Is it an album? Is it a concert? Is it blah, blah, blah. And it's almost like if they had just come out and said, I'm releasing an album, you know, people would be excited. But the fact that they hold it you know, a secret for a little while and people know that something's coming on, but they don't know what it is specifically. It creates this frenzy. And that's kind of like with you guys. Like I feel like people meet you and there's just this hidden depth and like a secret world and quiet confidence that you guys kind of exude. So we also got, these were all reversals. We got sexuality, intimacy, and the sacred woman. Um, so yeah, like I said, you guys definitely give off like a psychic vibe with, this, with this, the sacred woman. And there's also like a quiet sexuality to you guys um, that's coming in really strong where I feel like maybe some of you guys would just be really good in bed or you guys, some of you are just very... I want to say like experienced or you guys kind of know what you're doing in the bedroom or something like that. Um, and so it's like you guys, or maybe you're just very confident in the bedroom. And so people pick up on that vibe with you where they just kind of feel like sleeping with you would be, you'd be really good at it. You know, you like, obviously like everyone is good at sex in their own way, I guess, or there's different things that people enjoy, you know what I mean? Um, but I feel like you guys are just really good in bed and you guys just radiate this kind of sexual queen quality where people just know that you would kind of know what you were doing. You wouldn't be like, oh, I don't know, or you wouldn't be like nervous and like making people turn the lights off. You guys would be very sexually confident and you guys would just really, I feel like you guys like to please your partner in a way, like once you get in there, you guys are just kind of like, let's go. And you guys like to, you know, really make the other person like, <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't want to turn it into an 18 plus reading, but you really like to make it a, a overwhelming experience for them, I guess. And so I feel like people pick up on that. It's almost like lady in the street freaking the sheets or whatever. Like, again, I feel like many of you guys are very buttoned up or when people meet you, they're kind of like, oh, they're quiet and shy. But then they kind of get this vibe of like, mm, I don't know, but they kind of seem like they're you know, maybe a little freaky behind the scenes. Like you guys keep it locked down and you guys might not be the type to openly talk about this stuff. Cause again, I think you play a lot of stuff close to the best, but people can sense that you have this sexuality, this very strong sexuality. And again, it's in a very strong way. Like you guys with so much Empress energy around you, you guys are not the type to be like unsure in the bedroom or to be like, I don't know. I don't really know what to do. Like I feel like even even if you guys haven't had a ton of sexual experience, you just radiate that you would be really good at it. That you guys would just know what you're doing and just figure it out and you'd kind of like be a natural, you know? So yeah, so we also got, we got fourth chakra Archangel Raphael, third chakra Archangel Chamuel, broken heart reversed, and the thinking woman. So some of you guys might have been through some heartbreak or some kind of a difficult, like I said, difficult childhood, difficult, something difficult happened in life, I feel. And that has kind of given you guys this, like toughened you up and given you guys this kind of quiet, stoic quality where you guys have kind of been through hell and back. And it's like, people can sense that about you where they're like, this person has been through it, but they're still here. They're still standing. And like, what's their secret or what's their story? You know, it's kind of like, I'm seeing like, I keep seeing someone with like a scar and you know, it's kind of like, I think scars are very attractive on people because to me, it's always like a story. It's like an interesting thing. Like you just know that, you know, there's something that they got, there's some way that they got that scar and you're intrigued. Like even, even though, you know, it could have been anything and they could have gotten it in any which way they could have gotten it. If you guys like saw me when I had my burned hand, you know, like <laughs> someone might've been intrigued, like how did they get that? And I just burn my hand on a plate. It might be some stupid story like that but we're always I think a little intrigued when we see someone with a scar or something it's like what's going on you know what's the story behind this and so I feel like you guys there's this intriguing quality to you like I keep getting that that you are very 
thought provoking to people like people want to know more about you it's almost like the more you hold stuff close to the vest and the more you don't tell the more people are really interested and they want to know more and they're just kind of like why why isn't they why aren't they telling why is this off limits why can't I know I want I usually get to find out more about people so it's like you guys are a little bit withholding but I feel like it's also because again you guys are very smart you guys are kind of lost in your own world with the thinking woman you guys are very intelligent and again she's like reading this book I feel like a lot of you guys are really involved in some kind of like subculture or some kind of special interests like your writing or you guys are making music or you guys are involved in some kind of specific like sub genre I don't know how to describe it but you know like anime or some kind of specific musical genre that a lot of people might not be into like maybe emo or something you know what I mean where people can just sense that you guys like you're there you're talking to them you're interested in them but you're actually your mind is somewhere else you know um and a lot of artists and artistic people have that vibe so you guys might also present as very artistic but i feel like people again it's almost like the more you withhold your energy the more people are desperate to have it like why 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 aren't they paying attention to me um and so with fourth chakra archangel raphael and third chakra archangel chamuel um raphael rules over healing and sh Chamuel rules over love so I do feel like for many of you guys you have this first of all you've been through it and you've had Archangel Raphael near you because he rules over healing so it's almost like you give off this healed energy and people kind of get this sense around you that you guys have been through so much that if you can be there and still standing and still like you know still there that you can get through anything and so you have this quiet strength about you but also i think this is this has to do with how powerful you guys are like you guys are spiritually very powerful you guys have kind of one foot in this realm and one foot in the spirit realm and actually when we do creative pursuits it's really opening up kind of a portal to the spiritual realm as well and a lot of times you'll get psychic insights and visions when you are painting or writing or whatever it's kind of i think they did mri tests and it's actually the same part of your brain that you're using so when you like meditate and are deep in meditation and someone's also deep into like a creative task like I think they did MRIs on like Tibetan monks and um like a master violinist master violinist people and um and they found it was the same activated part so it's funny that um I feel like if you guys are doing creative pursuits or you guys are doing meditation doing spiritual work either way it's kind of the same thing like I'm hearing that you guys are very spiritual whether you are actively involved in it and actively like oh I do magic work or if you guys are just like no I just paint it's the same type of vibe that you guys are putting off you know what I mean and people sense this depth to you it's kind of like high priestess energy so we also got tree wisdom hidden depths and nature signs so again what i was talking about where there's just this wise kind of ancient energy about you like with tree wisdom and hidden depths you guys have so many layers to you and i think that people just again i keep getting intrigued like people meet you and i feel like they just they just want to know more i'm seeing an orange being like peeled off you know um and like one section gets peeled off and then the other you know i can never i know that i've seen videos online of someone like peeling a peeling an orange really specifically and well and maybe doing it in a design and they you know they peel it all in one portion but I've never been able to do that for me I can always just peel off one section and then it breaks off and then another and then it breaks off and then and so I feel like that's what I'm seeing is like someone just keeps you know peeling off a section at a time um, and they may you know okay now I know a little bit more now I know where they grew up or now I know you know that they have a dog or now I know this but it's never like they get to that fully feeling like they know you and that keeps them kind of like on the hook like they're just like I just if I could just find out that one more bit um so there's this very mysterious almost like scorpionic quality about you and some of you guys might be Scorpios because I do sense some of you guys are really private and combined with the spiritual energy yeah many of you guys might be Scorpios but there's a lot of signs coming through in this reading but um you guys have but Scorpio would make sense also because Scorpio is the Phoenix and kind of like you know they've been through it but they rise from the ashes and I feel like that is definitely applying for too many of you it's like you guys have this 
resilient quality that I think people just know that you would also make like a good partner because you are not the type to be thrown if someone like oh my god the kids are screaming and the kids are hungry and they're in a bad mood you wouldn't like lose it and freak out and like you know have a meltdown you guys are super you guys have been through a lot and you're still super strong so it's like you guys can handle so much of what someone else might, you know, really have a hard time with. You guys are capable of dealing with a lot more than maybe the average person. And so I feel like, again, it's kind of like you guys have this wifey or hubby type energy where people just know that you wouldn't be phased and you wouldn't be, you know, you guys are not like a weak person. You guys are very mentally strong minded. Um, and I feel like you guys also give off this kind of natural vibe. You guys, my I, I'm getting like two things like you guys might be the type to wear like a lot of makeup and it's like heavy and it might even be in a very like dark looking way like dark liquid like winged eyeliner or you know kind of like a dark scorpionic energy or like that goth energy or like dark hair dark eye makeup you know um kind of like that or very from whatever genre you guys are into. Maybe that influences how you dress and how you act. Because again, I feel like a lot of you guys, whatever interests you guys have in whatever thing, I don't know what this is and it's gonna be different for everyone. Um, but like if it's if it's a certain music genre or a certain uh, like TV series or, or book series or movie series, that influences how you guys are perceived because you're, absorbing that energy all the time so if you guys are like into anime it's like that might influence how you guys dress a little bit even if you guys don't consciously try to do that it's like people can just sense this kind of like anime energy about you or this exotic energy like you might not you know where it's like oh that's what, like a really interesting you know way of dressing and it's like subconsciously you are pulling in the energy from the anime you watch or whatever you know what i mean um and so i feel like again people don't know it's not like you guys are walking around with a t-shirt broadcasting like i love this certain show but you can't people can sense like mm, there's just something that seems so otherworldly about you and other like not just like presently rooted in the moment but also combined with this energy of this other their thing if that makes sense so whatever you guys are really into I feel like that very much influences your energy field but I feel like a lot of you guys also might give off a very naturalistic vibe where you know you might not be the type to like go all out with your hair or makeup and you might be the type to you know put on a little bit of makeup or do your hair a little bit and like brush it and like you know blow dry it or whatever but you're not kind of doing super elaborate stuff where you're like curling it and you know going all out and everything is not super rigid like I'm having such a hard time like describing this or trying to find the words for it but it's just I feel like you guys aren't the type to like do your hair with a ton of hairspray where it's kind of unmovable or you know where your style is like super rigid and you're wearing like you know five inch heels that are hard to walk in like I feel like there is this kind of fluid quality to you um like God, it's so hard to describe, but I feel like there is this kind of softness to the way you guys dress or present yourselves um, where you guys give off, again, it's almost otherworldly or creative or very watery where, again, it's it's thought provoking to people and people kind of don't know or they're curious about like how did they have that outfit idea or whatever. Um, and it's not super rigid or old fashioned is what I'm getting. Like I feel like you guys dress in a very unique almost creative way um, where again this is where even though you guys may present as very stoic and people when they're talking to you you're not telling them like and I love flowers and I have medieval I love the medieval era and I have all these interests in medieval like you you wouldn't tell someone that but maybe you would dress a little bit medieval in you know just the kind of top you pick like has a little bit of that kind of aspect to it you know what i mean um because there's so much of your world that is intermixed with this other world you guys exhibit or inhabit um so yeah i hope that explained it it's really a hard concept but anyway you guys got the king of cups so more cups we got the empress reversed we got the lovers reversed the hanged man we got the six of cups and we got the emperor. So again, 
I mean, so much water and also how many major arcana? One, two, three, four. Four out of um, six. So you guys really are a very powerful person. And I feel like first of all with this with the lovers coming through again there's this almost romantic quality to you like you guys are like a romantic heroine almost from like old england or something like i feel like um i'm seeing like elizabeth bennett or tess of the derber rails or something where you guys almost are that classic like heroine who's like kind of like nose in a book maybe like Belle from beauty and the beast or something where you guys kind of yeah, Belle is a really good example because she's always reading and people always want to get to know her and she's always like, nah, I'm good because I'm reading this book. And she doesn't feel the need to like make Gaston like her even though he's like a really powerful dude. I mean, I don't know. I, I, I'm kind of a people pleaser type person so I'd probably be like, oh, Gaston, I'm so sorry. You know what I mean? Like, she doesn't care at all. She was just like, bye, Gaston. She, she has no time for him. She doesn't even try to appease him. Like, that's like you guys. Like, you guys are not people pleasers. You are not desperate for people to like you or whatever. Um, and so it's like, I feel like, again, that makes you very attractive. Like, and Belle, her nose is in that book. And even when she's talking to Gaston or talking to the other people in the town, she doesn't talk to that many people. Like, that's the thing. She only talks to Gaston because he's always, like, pestering her. And that's kind of like you guys. Um, and she talks to, like, the book owner, the bookshop owner. And it's like, she doesn't tell them, like, everything she has going on. She doesn't tell them about all her stuff. She's just like, do you have the book? Okay, cool. And she's just not super... I feel like you guys, again, it's almost like you guys are higher caliber people. Like, I know that sounds really messed up or something, but it's like you guys are really smart and you guys are, again, like I said, you might have been incarnated on this planet like many times. So it's kind of like you guys you're not really here for the BS. You're not really here to talk about like the mundane subjects and you're not really interested when someone wants to go on and on about like, and when I went to buy the dress, they got it in the wrong color. So I had to go back and return it. And the sales lady was so rude. Like you don't want to have those kinds of like mundane conversations, you know? So I feel like you guys just aren't wanting to deal with a ton of people all the time you guys have i mean we had so much we have emperor king of cups we had the queen of cups i mean we have so much like king empress emperor energy um over and over and over and over um so i feel like you guys just radiate this really strong almost like royalty energy and it's because you guys are very wise advanced souls and so it's like you just it's like kind of like an old person again who's super wise and has been around the block they don't want to hear about the boring bs they're like no i'm just too old for this i'm not dealing with it anymore um and so it's like there's this strong um wise kind of energy that you guys radiate and I feel like that is a big reason why people are drawn to you where they are just they kind of see you as someone who has a lot of like secret knowledge and stuff and again there's this romantic quality to you where it's almost like you guys are poised for a big romance or you guys have had one but I feel like a lot of people can sense that like there's this energy. It might be a soulmate attached to you. I'm not sure. I feel like for some of you guys, you have a soulmate that is already very connected to you in this dimension, in the spirit world. It, that also might be why some of y'all are hanging out over there so much. It's so kind of half in this planet, half in the other. Because I feel like you do have this very strong like... I don't know, lover, romance, deep soulmate energy around you. So either that's going to come in in the future, it might have come in in the past, or it might be connected to you already in the spirit world. Um, so it depends kind of where you are on that timeline. But I feel like you guys just give off the vibe of someone that people just kind of know and can sense that there is this strong soulmate. And so it's almost like people are drawn to you as a result of that, but they may not approach you because they're like, oh, they're already kind of taken and they already kind of sense that on a deep intuitive level. Um, so we also got the hanged man. And again, I feel like you guys have been through a lot and you might have had your perspective 
perspectives changed because of some of these events or like you've been through the trauma you've been through the difficult stuff and it's like you're still there you see the world differently now but you're very you're very strong and you're very stoic and that kind of hardship it's like it really it really changes things you know I'm I'm thinking of like the time when I had like this big cut um that I had actually actually gotten on my body um and anyway I remember I didn't tell anyone about it and so I just showed up for brunch and all my friends were flipping out and they were like they were like what happened oh my god and I I came in with a guy like one of my guy friends and they thought they they were kind of like glaring at him and he was like I didn't do anything but I was surprised I didn't think anyone would care like I'm just a clumsy person if you guys can't tell by now how many times I have issues with my hands so I didn't think anyone would care and they were also like intrigued of like what how did you get this what what happened what what went down specifically and um and the thing is is that I feel like that's like with you guys like people can sense that you guys have been through some stuff and they really want to know like they want to know your story they want to know your background but you guys are not the type to really want so many people's approval so you're not really going to just share it with everyone there's this real regal quality to you um it's almost like royalty or something like you guys are very dignified you know and you guys aren't going to ruin your dignity for anyone or feel the need to appease anyone you guys are very much in your own power and that's a really beautiful thing i really love that um yeah you guys are very like evolved souls and it's just it's just really beautiful to see so i really hope that resonated you guys please let me know if it did in the comments i really love hearing your stories i know you guys play a lot of stuff close to the chest but you know let me know this is a safe space here anonymous and whatnot um so please let me know your thoughts you guys and make sure to like and subscribe i post videos every few days so if you want to see more make sure you're subbed and you have notifications on so you'll be notified as soon as i post I am sending you guys so much love and light. Have an amazing day, guys. Bye. Hello, my lovely pile three. So if you guys picked this strawberry Sunday, this is going to be your reading. Strawberry Sunday sounds so good right now. I remember strawberry milk from like um, being little and it was so tasty. So I'm guessing it tastes like that. Let's get right into your reading, guys. You guys pulled the chariot the king of swords the lovers the page of pentacles the ten of wands the eight of pentacles the king of cups the knight of wands and the ace of cups reversed and i believe this was reversed as well so the first thing that i'm picking up on is so much strength i actually um I actually pay, played some music beforehand to try to like get a vibe of what you guys, what kind of energy you guys were coming in with. And I got like Hard by Rihanna and then um, Strong Enough by um, actually the Heim cover from Sheryl Crow. But like I, and, and there was some other strong that had like song that had strong in the name. And I just feel like you guys have this really powerful energy to you guys especially with the ten of wands you guys are coming in as people in the chariot you guys are coming in as people that really are kind of a force to be reckoned with i feel like some of you guys may have been through some heartbreak or you guys may have been through some hard things and it's like that makes you really attractive to people like i feel like you guys give off this very almost like tough attitude or like there is this kind of alluring quality you have where people know you guys are kind of reliable people know that you guys are not like flaky not you know not kind of in your head or too much too overly emotional with the ace of cups reversed i feel like a lot of you guys are very um like reliable you guys have been through it you guys kind of have had a lot of difficulty coming through in your life and so it's like you guys have survived that i feel like a lot of you are also very plugged into like a destiny path or you're working on some kind of career thing and so it's like that is giving you an attractive quality that people pick up on where they just kind of can sense that you guys are working on some stuff and they find that really attractive a lot of you guys give off this very like since we got so many king cards it's like almost like you guys have ascended you guys have been through kind of like the low like with the page reversed and the night reversed it's like you guys are no longer in kind of this underlying type of energy like there's you know 
like you guys are not trifling around or playing games or trying to, you know, um, or trying to figure yourself out. It's like you guys have a certain level of confidence. You guys have been through this stuff. You guys kind of know what you're doing. And I feel like people find that attractive to you. I feel like the right people will find that attractive about you. I feel like the wrong people might be like, ooh, like, I don't know about that. You know, this person maybe, you know, is like too serious for me. Um, but the right people, like people who are also very serious about love are going to really find that attractive. Like you guys are not, you know, these little kind of wilting flowers like blowing around and not sure of what you're doing there is like this really strong energy of like almost like I want to say dad or mom energy like you guys are ready I feel like for commitment you guys have been through some of the other stuff in life and you guys have ascended to the point where it's like you are ready for something longer term you guys are not you know like i said playing games or unsure of yourself or any of that so we got to be fair we got flexible we got serendipity we got message in a bottle reversed and we got orphaned so with orphaned i feel like again there is this energy that you guys have been through it and i feel like people find that attractive like you know how sometimes um, you know, there'll be like a celebrity who has like had gone through some stuff and it makes them more attractive, like Rihanna with her horrible situation with Chris Brown, what a complete piece of garbage he is. Um, but it's like you are going to, you know, a lot of people, it's like some people will be, you know, like, oh my God, she went through that and maybe they're not ready to handle that. But a lot of people will see that and see how strong and powerful she is. And it's like, they're going to be even more attracted to her because she has this history, you know what I mean? And because people can see the strength in her and she has no shortage of guys lined up to date her. Date her. Wait, I just said that twice for some reason. I don't know what's going on. My brain is glitching. But also um, J-Lo or someone. Like, you know, I feel like you guys have a history or something. You guys are not the type of person that just comes off as someone who is like perfectly pure and has never been through anything. It's almost like people can tell you have a history and people can see this kind of wisdom in you. You know what I mean? Also with the King of Swords and the King of Cups, both of them are very wise cards just in different ways. The King of Cups is very emotionally wise can handle their emotions the king of swords is very intelligent so it's like you guys just come from at it from things with a very mature way of handling things you know what I mean and I feel like people can feel like they can trust and kind of open up with you like you guys are not the type to fly off the handle to go crazy to be like what did you wait a minute you are five minutes late how dare you you know what I mean like that is not your energy you guys are very clear about what you want and you guys are very have a lot of wisdom I feel like with flexible you guys can handle like whatever life throws at you and people can sense that it's almost like you know you guys have had like difficulty happen and it's just made you stronger it's made you wiser and people can sense that wisdom when they're dealing with you also you guys are really a force to be reckoned with with the chariot even though you're not the type to fly off the handle it's like when you want something you go after it i'm getting kind of mars and capricorn energy where it's like you guys are not afraid to go after something to pursue it you guys are you know you guys are also very like trusting of the universe like whatever the universe wants to bring with you you guys will handle it but i feel like with orphan a lot of you guys have felt abandoned in the past and maybe you had to work through those things maybe you guys had to go to therapy or do spiritual work to try to like evolve or whatever but it's like you guys have been doing the work and you guys have moved past that and people can kind of sense that like it's like you guys leveled up or something and i feel like there's this wisdom there's this like status that you guys have like you guys are not you know that little underling i'm seeing like at a court you guys would be like the king or the queen you guys wouldn't be the like little peasant girl that's like hi i um i'm selling my stuff and like i don't know what you guys are so strong in your power and you guys carry that with you so strongly and i feel like people are really drawn to that I feel like people are really attracted to it. Also with to be fair, like there's just this measured quality about you where you guys know really how to handle things. Like you guys are not the type, again, to fly off the handle, to go crazy. There's kind of this patient energy or this calmness about you that I think people are really, really drawn to. Um, 
so yeah i feel like you guys we also i just pulled the nine of cups and the emperor so it's almost like you guys are at a point in your life where you have reached a resolution or you guys have come through a storm and you're on the other side and there's kind of this success energy like oh you made it through and you succeeded and you're strong that people sense about you like they might not know exactly what went down but i feel like they can sense that something went down and that y'all are still standing i'm hearing i'm still standing by elton john so i I feel like that's something that again people find attractive of you some of you guys might do like yoga or just be very physically fit a lot of these cards do kind of relate to physical fitness so some of you guys may have a really good body or you guys work out or have strong muscles or there's just like lines to your body that i feel like are very attractive um kind of like the way your body flows like i feel like you guys give off this kind of competent vibe you know what i mean like you guys seem like the type that wouldn't have a problem if you had to lug in extra heavy groceries some of you guys just give off a vibe as being really healthy you know what i mean like maybe some of you guys abstain from alcohol or drugs or you guys you know are on a very healthy diet but i feel like there's just this kind of like mature energy and i don't mean mature like code word for old i mean mature as in like wise you know strong mentally strong like you guys are not you know this is not your first time at the rodeo kind of a thing you guys are like that maverick or you guys are like in the army you would be like the general that has seen it all been there done that and bought the t-shirt you guys are not that kind of wide-eyed ingenue that's like oh my god i'm so excited to be here it's like y'all have seen it all been there done that and i feel like people sense that energy about you and it's almost like they can trust you and they can rely on you because of that so we also got the stars which i think relates to the star um we got the seven of wands we got the knave of wands which i think is the page we got the king of swords we got the oh and those last four are all reversed we got the five of cups um we got reversed strength um we got the ten of cups reversed and we got the nine of swords so yeah you guys first of all the strength is coming in really strongly i feel like physically a lot of you guys might just be very physically strong physically fit some of you guys might just work on your fitness and really have like like muscles you know muscle lines i'm gonna i want to say delineated muscles so like it might show up where like your arms are really toned and people can see the line of the muscles or something like that I mean, that might not resonate for everyone, but for some of you, I feel like in general, even if you're like, well, I'm not really that physically fit. I don't have a six pack or something because I think you have to have a really low body percentage to have like a six pack. So maybe you guys, you know, have a little more weight on you or something, but I feel like you guys are physically strong. Like you're the type that could lift a lot or pick something up or, you know, have a lot of endurance. Maybe you guys do some kind of physical fitness thing like marathons or sports like that. But again, I feel like there's this quality to you of like energy adventurousness and physical strength as well as mental strength that people really respect a lot of you guys i feel have done the work mentally and worked through like childhood traumas and stuff i was just thinking it's so funny because i always have these thoughts like before the readings and i'm like why am i thinking this random stuff and then the reading will come up and i'm like oh okay that was why um but before this reading i was thinking about how like how long it took me to do a lot of my spiritual work um because i think the timeline was like seven years really um since like 2014 that i really committed to like okay i want to fix this about my life and how difficult it was how many painful things came up and you know that's pretty typical for someone on their spiritual journey and i was just thinking like i don't think i could ever date someone who's at the beginning of that journey just because i know how difficult it is and how much it entails and it's so funny i was thinking that because i just I, I feel like that's you guys like you guys either have been through something similar or you guys are that example that i was saying i would never date someone who hasn't you know done the work and you guys have done the work so let's date no i'm just kidding i'm not hitting on y'all but i'm just saying um like you guys i feel like a lot of people you know people don't i mean some people want to date someone who's dysfunctional and sometimes if you're dysfunctional you get a charge out of that you get like a rush out of like the the drama the slamming doors the like missed calls and the like you know the fights 
And some people are all about that. And generally it's people who are dysfunctional themselves and haven't worked through that, you know. But I think most people that have worked through that or didn't have that dysfunction in their life to begin with, we don't want that. Like we want it to be calm. We want it to be resolved. We want it to be like productive conversations. If there's an argument, we want it to be like respectful, clear headed. Like, listen, I, I was upset when you didn't do X, Y, Z, not slamming doors and throwing things and like, you know, broken, some breaking someone's phone and smashing out a window like that stuff you know you don't have, maybe you have some time for that when you're younger but as you get older and you like realize what it entails most of us we want the calmness we want someone who's worked through their stuff and i feel like a lot of you have either worked through your stuff or or you're on the path to that and you give off that vibe like i'm almost seeing like oprah <laughs> you know how oprah has all those like super soul sundays and she's very into the metaphysical stuff and she's very into like growth and therapy and that kind of vibe like I feel like a lot of you guys, maybe you read self-help books or you guys have worked through a lot of stuff, but it's like you guys are not, um, you know, chaotic, like crazy people who have a million issues to work through. A lot of you guys have already worked through that stuff and have managed it. Um, I mean, we have so many king cards coming out. So it's just you guys truly, it's like you guys truly are in this very powerful energy. You know, I feel like a lot of you guys have figured out a lot in your life. Um, it's interesting that this pile is so specific, but I feel like a lot of you might have like a routine, like you wake up, in the morning, you know, you, you make a healthy breakfast, you hit the gym, you blah, 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 you go into work. And it's almost like you guys have your life figured out. And I feel like a lot of people who are very functional are going to find this very attractive. Like you guys are in the opposite of chaos. You know, you guys are very, I, it's not like you're boring because again, we have the chariot. There's a lot of forward momentum. There's a lot of stuff happening in your life but it's like you guys have figured out a lot. <laughs> it's kind of like you guys are not in that desperate page of pentacle stage. A lot of you guys may have some money or have figured out your career or you're on a career path. It's not like you're, you know, searching for your life purpose or you're not sure. If you if you are like, well, I actually I am searching for my life purpose. I feel like you guys are going to figure it out very soon. And with the star, it's like you guys are on this kind of trajectory that's kind of like people can sense that. Um but I feel like the end result for you guys is that you guys are very much like you're very certain about your energy and you're very you have your day kind of lined up and your goals lined up. You know what I mean? You guys are not in this chaos energy that so many people are in where you're running around and you're eating junky food and you don't know what you want to do. It's like you guys have a certain level of resolve about things. You guys have done the work to figure things out and now it's kind of like you guys are like coasting. I'm almost seeing like an executive or someone who, you know, it's like they did all the work when they were young or like a lawyer who had to work like those super long hours when they first started at their company, um, at the law firm, and then they became partner. And now they only have to work, you know, nine to five and they have an assistant and they kind of like, yeah, they have to still work and stuff, but they really are in like a powerful position. And I feel like that's the energy you guys give off, even if you're not there yet. I feel like that's the trajectory you are on. There's a lot of just lack of chaos coming through. Like there's a lot of like, you guys are just very, you know, you've got a lot of your life figured out. And I feel like people find that really attractive in a world where so many people are chaotic and so many people have like unaddressed childhood trauma and so many people have like a myriad of issues that they haven't dealt with. You guys have kind of moved through that and you're almost like you're not even having to do as much work anymore. It's like you guys have this calmness. Like again, like the king isn't running around, you know, breaking his back, like cut cutting down wood and like figuring things out or even writing stuff and like doing math or doing like white collar work. He is, you know, just coasting, just sitting back and kind of like relaxing. And that's like the energy I'm getting with you guys. So we also got intuition. 
material and spiritual prosperity, transformation, and positive mo movement forward and throat chakra. So I'm getting for like for you guys, it wasn't always this way. You guys didn't always have everything figured out. Some of you guys did have like a very calm childhood. So it might not have been like you guys had to do a ton of shadow work and stuff, but I feel like you guys have had to deal with stuff and you guys have made the active choice to move into a very calm place. And I feel like people just find that really attractive about you. People can sense this kind of, if you guys don't have money yet, you guys are going to be there. You guys are going to come into money and there's just this kind of positivity to you i'm seeing like a workout you know how like in the 80s there were those workout videos and they would be filmed in like you know they would be wearing like pastel leotards and like headbands and like knee socks like i'm seeing someone like that but honestly i love watching those videos because they're always so positive they're always like shouting you know like one more when they're doing jumping jacks they're always smiling they always seem to be really in a good mood and a lot of that i think is just due to the level of physical activity and i feel like for a lot of you guys you guys just do a lot of physical activity and it's like you have those endorphins flowing and it's kind of like that quote from legally blonde where she says like um exercise gives you endorphins endorphins make you happy happy people don't kill people they just don't like that's that's kind of like you guys like you guys are just you might have just those endorphins flowing from the level of physical fitness that you guys are up to. But I feel like people just kind of sense there's like this reliability about you. Like if you say you're going to be there at 8 p.m., you're going to be there at 8 p.m. You're not going to ghost. You're not going to flake. They're not, you're not going to send some weird text like, you know, five minutes before that's like, oh my God, um, my brother called me and he said that um, he needs my help babysitting and I, I know you didn't know I had a niece, but I do and I, I need to go, but I told you that maybe we can meet next week, but, um, my boyfriend is coming in town and you're like, what? Like, I, I don't know. I have a couple people I know that will send me like crazy texts. Like, it's like, just cancel. Just tell me you don't want to go or something. Don't give me some re really crazy sounding excuse that, it sounds like you wrote some creative novel or something like you guys are not that energy you guys are in a very calm energy reliable people know they can trust you and i think that's a really underrated attractive quality the more you get older i mean my mars is in capricorn and so i really am attracted to people like this like i like people that have figured their ish out i don't need to deal with the craziness and the weirdness and the you running around and you don't know what's going on you know that energy, I feel like it's attractive when you're young, you know, you maybe you like the bad boys or the bad girls, but when you get older, you want someone reliable, you you want someone that you can trust, you want someone that you can kind of have a calm. So I feel like a lot of people are drawn to this about you. It's like you guys would make a good long-term partner. You guys would make someone really happy. You guys would be that partner that people know they can trust, that people don't have to worry about like flying off the handle or going crazy or, you know, being in a bad mood mood and just berating them for no reason there's like this calm dignity about you that I think a lot of people pick up on and it's like oh wow um, and that doesn't get talked up so much as like an attractive quality but I think a lot of like sex symbols do have that like I'm seeing like Adam Driver like I feel like he gives off a reliable quality like he just seems like very stoic you know he just seems like he wouldn't be the type to like you know, I'm not talking, I don't know. I'd have to tune into his energy to do like a psychic reading about him. So I'm not saying anything and maybe that's not the case, but I feel like the vibe he gives off to most people is just very stoic very like quiet strength and i feel like he is like a huge sex symbol kind of like an unexpected sex symbol so that's the thing is like people are really drawn to this energy people don't necessarily write you know novels about like how attractive someone's reliability is but i honestly think when you're picking a partner this kind of quality where someone can be depended upon, this is something that so many people are like desperate for, especially nowadays because a lot of people have lost their damn minds. But anyway, so we also got the Hierophant. Um, we also got the Eight of Wands. We also got the Six of Cups. We also got the Four of Swords, the um, the World. We got the Queen of Wands. We got um, the sun and we got the three of wands. 
so yeah you guys again are just radiating this kind of authority to you i'm almost getting for some of you some some people who are into like s and m might really be into you guys because you guys would make a good like dom or something i'm not into that so like don't ask me about it but i just feel like you guys would make that good energy like you guys would be very like commanding you guys kind of know what you want and you're not going to be the type to handle like a trifling fool that's like wasting your time you guys are not that type that you know is like play games with me i love it which a lot of people actually do you know they they waste their time they are okay with someone jerking around them around but i think the mature people are going to sense this it's kind of like I always say not everyone likes caviar you know what I mean um and so like you guys are like the caviar where like the like the not to sound like a snob or anything because obviously there's you can not like caviar and it's not a big deal but I just feel like like you're not going to be everyone's taste and it's kind of like how caviar is like higher quality or whatever you guys are like higher quality and the lower quality people again no offense not to sound super snobby about caviar i don't really care that much about caviar but just as the metaphor like people might you know think that they want like the greasy cheeseburger or whatever but the most high quality kings and queens pe type people are going to want the caviar and you guys are the type that are going to attract those very serious people that are in it for a long-term thing a lot of you guys because of like the lovers came up and stuff you guys a lot of times may attract very serious partners like people that want to wife you up husband you up like quick you know what i mean because i feel like you guys give off the vibe of a long-term potential you have this kind of quiet dignity to you and you have this very like this like also with the hierophant that can indicate marriage so it's like i feel like a lot of times people may meet you and just automatically kind of want something long term you know how in like the 1800s like a guy would see a girl he was attracted to and just like propose randomly <laughs> like um my grandmother actually told me back she got proposed to eight times which is crazy i was like oh okay wow but um but you know made me feel like i'm oh okay i'm slacking on the proposals then because i don't have any but i do feel like you know there are certain people that just like inspire someone to like like they just know they want this like right away and so it's like i feel like that's your guys's energy like people see you and they just know that it's like a long-term thing and actually now that i brought up my grandmother I think she's she's coming to mind now and she was super strong she knew what she wanted she was very much in control of the relationship and I feel like a lot of people like that about you like she was not the wishy-washy type to be like well I'm not quite sure well I don't know well um I don't I'm not she was like I know what I want every time she comes through in a psychic reading the psychics are like oh my god okay <laughs> she's very commanding and so the funny thing is I feel like that's like you guys like you guys are not the type to crack the whip necessarily but like maybe a little bit you guys aren't the type to tolerate tomfoolery and people doing nonsense and wasting your time um, and so I feel like people who are really strong and secure it's like they kind of see you as a challenge like people want to win over your approval and they want to get your like stand of okay like I, this person's okay I feel like again we have the queen of wands so there's so much queen royalty energy coming through in this reading really strongly you guys have glowed up in so many areas of your life and I feel like people you know there is this kind of like all eyes on you quality as well um, with the world coming through and with the star that came through I feel like you guys you know there are a lot of people that have their eye on you and it's like there's a lot of people that really respect you and a lot of people that really are kind of drawn to you i feel like you guys have this kind of like you guys don't need to kind of shout to try to be the center of attention you guys just end up being that way anyway and so a lot of people i feel it's like winning you over and getting your approval is kind of like this challenge you know and again it's almost like you guys don't need to be like working your tail off you guys have kind of moved past that a lot of you guys are financially independent and kind of abundant or you're on the path to that so there's that adds to you i think a lot of people are like wow they could see a whole life with you i feel like you're the type of person that people could imagine you know 
waking up with and making coffee with and like moving in with you and again it's like wifey it's not like one night stand energy so we also got magical blessings wisdom and moderation so again with this energy of a lot of you guys may very strongly watch what you eat or work out or have a very heavy workout routine because i feel like there's your physical form is very attractive to a lot of people like you guys have like a banging body or something you guys have this kind of strength to you that people really are drawn to and it may come from like the gym in addition to your kind of mental and emotional strength but there's this wise quality to you you guys um like the text on this says, um, have you ever been told that you're wise beyond your years? So I feel like that's probably something pe a lot of people ask about you. Like a, a lot of people I feel like may even come to you with problems or may come to you with like your advice or asking for your wisdom because you guys just have this very wise energy. You guys give off a very knowing energy. You guys seem like you kind of know what you're doing you don't seem like this ingenue that kind of doesn't know how to handle things. So I think a lot of people, you know, they just respect you. And that means a lot. I feel like you guys have a lot of respect within the um, community that you're in. People can kind of trust you. And they also, I feel like a lot of people don't try to mess with you because they kind of know that you guys can stand up for yourself and that you guys, you know, you're not to be trifled with. So we also got Angel of Strength envy the thinking man and door to personal healing and happiness my favorite card i love this but i feel like you guys have already been through this like you guys have already moved through that door you guys have already done the work to kind of glow up to improve yourselves and it's like now you guys are in a place where you guys have done that work and now you're in the place where you can kind of reap the rewards. Like all the bad times, all the storms have kind of passed a little bit. Um, and so that's something that a lot of people just can kind of sense about you like you guys are very mature you guys are not that that person that is just kind of a clown that hasn't figured their life out and has a lot of weird you know weird traumas weird issues that they need to work on um so i feel like people are just drawn to you as a result of that um so i just pulled a bunch of other cards and i kind of want to read them because i'm getting like info as i pull them so we got the divine feminine the sacred woman and this distorted masculine and then we'll go back to these but i feel like first of all i'm not surprised about these two coming out because again you guys have done so much spiritual work you guys are so much in your power for some of you guys it might end up you guys pulling in kind of like distorted masculines or distorted feminine if you're a man asking about women whatever you know genders you have to switch around but you guys might be pulling in romantic partners that are kind of like drawn to you because they know you can help them it's almost like you guys have an earth mother type of energy healer energy um, and so people might come to you and kind of be like oh my god can you help me are you the one you know um because you guys give off such a mature strong vibe um, in that sense so yeah we also got angel of strength so again just confirming that you guys give off this super strong vibe and envy so there may be people around you who are envious of you or who see what you guys have going on and kind of try to come for you but i feel like they really couldn't like you guys are so strong and you guys have been through so much oh my god and we just got the high priestess which i'm not surprised by because again you guys again have been doing spiritual work you guys have been going through it you guys have been putting in the time um but i feel like yeah a lot of people who come to you and we got the hermit see that makes so much sense as well i i didn't mean to be shuffling so late but i just wanted to pull some more cards um and so i feel like yeah you guys may it's not the thing is you guys are not like needy you know you guys are not the type that um needs to have like people around you or needs to have approval it's almost like i feel like when people are around you they have this sense of calm because you're not constantly seeking approval or trying to get people to like you or feeling like you need to kind of do the juggling and try to like please please like me I, I promise i'm nice like you know you guys are very much in your power you guys are very sure of yourselves you guys have done the work and it's like you guys are also very smart very intelligent i feel like some of you guys might be like bosses like i'm getting like boss girl boss energy or i guess guy guys guy boss energy but it's like you guys may 
again, there's this energy of like abundance around you. And just that you guys have like figured things out. We also have the two of pentacles. So I feel like a lot of you guys are just very balanced in your life. You guys are very capable of nurturing and also managing your like work life. So whereas a lot of people, you know, are like, oh my God, well, how am I supposed to wake up early and work out and go to work and come home and, you know, have time with my friends or my significant other it's like you guys have figured it out you guys might be that person that people see on instagram that like body on point like diet on point workout on point you know job on point hair on point nails on point like it's and people might ask that question like how does she do it or how does he do it all it's kind of like you guys have glowed up and just have figured a lot out and there's just this calmness there's this resolution there's this like you guys are not in a frantic energy and i don't mean to keep talking about what you guys aren't but it's just that so many people are in a frantic energy so many people are on this world and you know and it is tough world and they're still trying to figure everything out and there's kind of a lot of a lot of chaos that comes up and a lot of fear and a lot of like issues and it's really interesting because you guys have moved through that and there's just kind of this quiet dignity that really separates you guys from the crowd it may seem like this should be the baseline but i can tell you as someone who does readings that it's definitely not i feel like this actually makes you really stand out to people and people who are really looking for a relationship will come to you guys i feel like you guys would have had a lot of you guys I feel like have had a lot of offers or have had a lot of people step forward and ask you out and it's almost like a lot of those people you guys are going to avoid the people that are just trifling looking for a one night stand like not really serious because people can sense this grounded energy about you and the people that step forward and are willing to like fully present themselves they are looking for something long term they're look a lot of people are looking for someone like you because people like you are rare who have done the work who have figured it out who are in this calm queen high priestess energy um you guys are definitely rare and so i feel like a lot of people who are maybe looking to start a family or looking for a really serious long-term relationship will be super drawn to you because it's like you guys know what you're doing and you're not going to have some you know chaotic reason for ending the relationship or like i just i can't i can't do it you know like none of that kind of crazy energy that happens so much in this world like i have a few friends that will just you know constantly it's some chaos going on in their life and i don't mean to be like dismissive i mean i have chaos going on in my life too so but mine is like getting poison ivy and burning myself and like stupid you know um clumsy stuff like I, I am just really clumsy that's just part of my chart I think but um but I'm talking about you know when you have like the breakup constantly and then like this person was going after me and then that and then and it's like you guys are just so calm that it really separates you from the crowd like it's like you guys have this real dignity about you and you guys have figured it out and I feel like again you may seem like oh no it's kind of like not that interesting or whatever but it, i feel like it really is and i feel like this energy is the type that is just going to draw in um really serious contenders because the people are going to know that you are not you know just the one night throwaway type of energy you guys are a really great partner you'd make a really supportive nurturing partner and i feel like people find that super attractive about you also just your intelligence i feel like a lot of you guys are very well spoken you kind of know exactly what to say you guys are not the type to you know get tripped up on your words or get really nervous or whatever there's just this kind of like intelligent energy about you almost like you know a senior in high school versus the freshman and everyone else most people are freshmen and you guys are like the seniors so you give off this super mature energy and i feel like people who really want a serious long-term relationship are going to be really 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 drawn to you um so yeah I, this was a really interesting energy i wasn't expecting this to come up but i really hope it resonated you guys please let me know if it did in the comments i love hearing your stories and thoughts on it um and make sure to like and subscribe and turn on those notifications i post every few days so if you want to see more videos make sure you're subbed you guys i am sending you so much love and light have an amazing day guys and i will see you in the next reading bye
Hello, my lovely pile four. So if you guys picked this chocolate ice cream, this is going to be your reading. This one looks really good. I love chocolates and like vanilla and those kinds of really sweet flavors. So that would be my pick. Um, so let's get right into your reading, you guys. Um, we got the Queen of Pentacles. We got the Two of Cups. We got the Lovers. We got the Ace of Wands. We got the Devil. We got the two of swords the king of wands reversed the queen of wands and the four of cups so I, first of all i'm getting that you guys exude a lot of sexual magnetism with the devil and the queen of wands and to a certain extent the queen of pentacles i just feel like you guys give off a very sexual vibe and it's almost like a luxurious vibe or like you people just might assume that you guys are like a trophy wife or that you guys are like a very expensive you know what i mean like you know like just uh like a high maintenance or like oh well the only people that can date her would be like a millionaire or would be like a celebrity or something like i feel like you guys also with the ace of wands like you guys really people are very attracted to you i feel like there's a lot of people that spend a lot of time thinking about you dreaming about you um thinking about you in a very sexual way if you know what i mean i don't want to say the word but you know alone time ace of wands you can take what this looks like and you know fill in the blank like there are a lot of people that think about you a lot i feel like a lot of people that imagine um imagine you in all kinds of different ways if you know what I mean um so there's a lot of people that would love to be your counterpart it's funny that the king of wands is reversed next to the queen of wands I feel like a lot of people feel like you're out of their league or feel like they would like to be with you but they're not good enough it's funny because we also got the two of cups and the lovers so i feel like you inspired like romanticism in people there might be people that wouldn't normally be you know imagining themselves like you know how like when you're young you you will write your name along with your crush's last name if you're a girl or like i guess if you're a guy you would write the girl you have a crush on's name with your last name or something um i feel like like there's like a lot of people who wouldn't usually be into that kind of behavior or whatever the adult equivalent is like they do that with you you inspire that in them like you make them suddenly be like damn like mm, it would be really nice if like i could go on a date with this person or i wonder you know if we could go on vacation together what would it would be like and you know what kind of food would they order and like okay so we could get room service and you know maybe like when the valet or when the guy comes to drop off the food like they won't have a bathrobe and i'll give them my bathrobe like you know what i mean like you Im you invite that kind of like thinking like where people are just so drawn to you sexually and then it turns into like this very deep um like romantic attachment there's also i feel like a lot of conflict where people sometimes will you know want to approach you and want to present themselves as a romantic option but they're very intimidated by you um and a lot of times people just assume like they feel very torn they're like i really am drawn to this person i really would like to go present myself romantically but like no there's no chance they would never go for me so i feel like that kind of a thing happens a lot with you guys where actually let me keep these together the king of wands reversed and the queen of wands um, but i feel like there's a lot of that kind of like being drawn to you being very tempted and you inspiring their imagination and inspiring them to really go beyond just the normal like crush imagining kind of thing into like really kind of feeling very serious about you and then kind of chickening out because it's like they're like no this person like would just never go for me so we got destiny solitude power fulfillment of wishes crown chakra and the universe so I feel like with you guys, again, you guys have this kind of raw sexuality. You have this sexual energy that you guys just exude very strongly. I don't think it's that you guys necessarily give off a vibe of being like, you know, I've been around the block and I know what I'm doing in bed. And I've had like all these sexual partners. I don't think it's like that, although it could be for some of you. But I feel like it's just more like you guys are very pretty like you guys are very attractive and you guys have this energy about you um that people are really 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 drawn to like it's like 
there's just something about you that people just assume that you guys, again, are expensive or have some kind of expensive situation going on. Um, and they feel very pulled to you. They feel very pulled to, to your energy. I feel like there's just something about the way you guys move or the way you guys laugh or the way you guys like tuck your hair behind your ear that inspires sexual attraction in people. So it's not something where you guys are presenting necessarily always as like, I am super sexually experienced, but you still inspire this sexual desire that's really overwhelming in people. Um, I also feel like there's this aspect of you guys being a little bit psychic. I feel like some of you guys may give off a vibe of people just really feeling like you, um, you're very like tuned in psychically and maybe that adds to the sexual attraction where it's like you guys may give off a vibe of being wise in that way i feel like to a lot of people you're their wish they would imagine about being with you and what that life would entail and to them that's like their ultimate fantasy where they just imagine kind of like being with you waking up with you i feel like to a lot of people being with you for them would be proof of like that they've made it you know what i mean because they think of you as like a trophy wife or a trophy husband you guys may have been that person in school or in your workplace where it's like all heads turn for you or you walk down the street and everyone is looking at you or everyone kind of wants to know about you i feel like a lot of you guys it's not even that you necessarily try to be the center of attention with solitude like i feel like it's just kind of your destiny it's just a part of you it's just a part of who you are like i feel like for this pile some of you guys could look differently could you know act differently or whatever but there is this uniting quality in you that you give off a very sexual vibe but it i don't know how to describe it it's kind of in like a cute way like i feel like a lot of you guys are super um are super like sweet and nice you know what i mean but it's coupled with this sexual quality that you might not even want to have this kind of a sexual vibe i've noticed some people that have a very like a lot of people dream about having this kind of sexual quality but i've noticed in the charts of people that have this kind of a thing like mars aspecting the ascendant or mars sextile the sun or eros aspecting the ascendant or sun or other super sexual aspects towards the sun or the ascendant that a lot of times those people it's like they actively will dress down they actively will like wear button downs you know or they'll actively not wear like revealing clothing because they're they've whereas everyone else wants to be seen as a sexual way they are used to being seen in that sexual way and it's almost like they're like no no i don't want that heat like i'm used to that and i want to be seen as normally but it is a quality about you that is kind of like intangible from you so you might look into your chart and see that you have mars aspecting the ascendant sun or air Eros aspecting your ascendant or sun or it could even be Pluto as well but there is just this very sexual quality or you might have an Aries or Scorpio energy in you in your chart but it's like there's this overwhelming sexuality that a lot of people are picking up on so we also got oh I pulled a lot of cards in this one so we got anxiety the sun attachment reversed woman holding a coin man holding a coin the temple path and deceit so i feel like for some of you guys this is what i'm saying is like i'm not getting the vibe that you guys are like super sexual in some of you guys maybe so just take what resonates uh because of the general reading so but i i feel like for some of you it's not that you are super sexual in the way of like samantha from sex in the city like you're not you know telling everyone about like oh i had this threesome or something but there is this sexual energy that you inspire in people but I, that, when i said you guys are cute it's hard to describe some of the energy i'm getting but I feel like it's almost like some of you guys have a vulnerable vibe. Like you guys may, you know, have anxiety or come off as like, you know, you don't have everything together right now. And I feel like that really inspires a lot of interest in people where it's like, almost like they want to be protective of you you know what i mean or you guys have a cute like young energy where you seem a little vulnerable and i know that may sound really creepy but where i feel like people see you and it's like it inspires protectiveness and in some people it could inspire like a very creepy energy so it's something to you know be aware of and watch out for i looked young i still look young but like i looked young for 
you know, a while where people thought I was like in my teens and there were some creeps that came around. So if you guys, you know, do look young as well, because I feel like for some of you, you might, or you might just have like that young kind of vulnerable energy. You definitely want to be aware that there are some like creepy weird people with weird intentions and just look out for that. I feel like for others of you, there's almost like this fragility to you. Like with attachment reversed, you guys may not be the type that is super like ready for love, super like wanting that full on relationship. And I feel like that just makes people want one more. You know what I mean? It's kind of like you guys are hard to get or you guys like you guys are genuinely hard to get because some of you guys might have commitment issues or fear of commitment or intimacy issues or like attachment issues. And it's kind of like people are very drawn to you because of that. You know what I mean? Like it's like there's this fragility or there's this quality to you kind of like, you know how Marilyn Monroe she was such a beautiful sex symbol, but there was also this quality of like fragileness to her where she seemed slightly vulnerable at times. And I feel like that made her seem more sexually alluring where um, a lot of guys were like, I can be the one to protect her or I can take care of her or I'm going to be the one to convince her that like, you know, she should be with me and that she should be married or whatever. So I feel like for a lot of people, you may inspire that type of energy where maybe they weren't looking for a relationship but then they see you and you're like no no i definitely don't want one and then they're like well excuse me wait a minute uh actually let me prove you wrong you do want a relationship <laughs> like so i feel like the vulnerability that you guys sometimes prevent present some of you guys might feel insecure about that sometimes of like oh god like i don't want to come off as anxious or whatever but i know that actually that you know, that works in your favor. It's funny because again, I've been studying astrology for a really long time. And like I said, kind of earlier, I, I was saying something similar, but it's like the parts of you that sometimes you're like, oh God, I'm embarrassed about this, is the parts that a lot of times will be like your strength, your advantage that a lot of people are drawn to. So again, I noticed that with people who present as very sexual, that they're self-conscious about it. They're like, oh God, I don't want to be seen as like this sex symbol and you know they hate it but anyone else would like kill to have that ability and same with you guys you guys may feel like oh i don't want to present as vulnerable and anxious but actually i think a lot of people are drawn to you because of that and they're very like there's this kind of like almost like I'm seeing like a crystal like not a crystal a porcelain doll or something you know what I mean like where you guys are like fragile and precious and people get that vibe to you I feel like in a way if you guys are a girl or you're interested in men you guys may present as getting a lot of guys that want to fix you or getting or if say I guess if you're a guy same you could be attracting a lot of women that kind of want to fix you it's like you guys inspire this challenge in people where they want to be the one to make you you know make you change your mind kind of a thing kind of like you know how you might not be into something or you might not be interested in something and then you hear like oh well it's not an option anyway or like you don't really want to go to that bar and then you hear like that the bar is closed off and they're only al allowing select people in and suddenly you're like well let's go I want to see if I get in no no I want to get in now you know what I mean like so I feel like it's like you are really hard to get and you're not playing hard to get like y'all are actually hard to get because you have a lot of other stuff going on you guys are not necessarily that type of person that's like desperate for love but I actually think that it's funny again I'm not trying to go on and on about this but I notice in astrology and stuff that it's a lot of times the people that aren't obsessed with love and just their energy that isn't obsessed with love they're focused on other stuff that ends up attracting the soulmate and they're kind of like what what is this like they weren't even looking for it and it's always that person that's like out there desperately searching for a soulmate that like pushes the energy away um and so i think a lot of people have kind of observed that and they'll make comments like oh love comes to you when you're not looking and it's because of that energy so i think it's funny because you do have the two of cups and then you had the lovers come out right afterwards um so i think even though you guys aren't looking for love and you guys aren't the type to desperately want love or to be like you know you guys aren't the type that like you go on one date with someone and you're planning your wedding like at all i feel like it's the opposite people do that with you and you're kind of like excuse me like we went on one date like what are you talking about so your independence and stuff and the fact that some of that may stem from anxiety or like attachment issues or you know fear of intimacy or whatever but it, it's it's working for you in terms of your 
you know your vibe people sense that about you and they find it very alluring and attractive kind of like I can think of like a few different celebrities that like give off a vibe where they don't seem like they're super like looking for love in a traditional way. Like I'm thinking of like Kristen Stewart, you know, when she, everyone was like, why was Robert Pattinson so in love with her? She seems like she's the most unromantic type of girl ever. And it's like, that's probably why he liked her is because like she's, he, he's into that. He doesn't want, he doesn't, he could have anyone and he doesn't really want a girl that's like desperate for him. He wants a girl that maybe is like really doing her own thing and really wants to be independent or whatever, you know, and that's the challenge. That's the interesting thing. And so I feel like that's the vibe you give off where you guys kind of seem like you um, aren't super looking for love and it actually pulls it in more and more. In fact, you guys might have had to have like difficult conversations like, I, I'm really sorry, but I am not looking for a boyfriend right now kind of a thing. Um, because I feel like, and maybe that won't resonate for everyone, but I feel like for a lot of you, like you just, you just pull people in. Like, like really, I'm seeing like a radar. Like it's like, if there's anyone in the vicinity, they're like drawn to you. (laughs) And it might be kind of annoying at times where you're like, oh my God, I'm at work. I I don't, I don't want to date you. Excuse me. You're my coworker. Like go away. You know what I mean? But it's this, it's almost like people can't help themselves because you guys are very sexually alluring. So let me get some more cards, which deck to pull. So we got temptation. We got wish wisely reversed and we got music. We got inner child and we got solitude. So, um, yeah. So again, you guys just are very tempting to a lot of people. Um, we got the devil and we got temptation. So you guys really, and we got deceit, which is kind of like the devil here. Um, so you guys really do have this very sexual quality. I feel like in a way I'm hearing like people want to corrupt you (laughs) because I'm like interested because I keep getting all these sexual cards, but I don't feel like your vibe is you guys are not like this super sexual person. I feel, I feel like you provoke that in people because it's not any, I don't know how to describe this. It's such a weird phenomenon because usually when I see this energy, it's someone that does have Mars, aspect in the ascendant or something like that so there has to be two factors one you have to have an innate sexual energy in you and two you have to be kind of not wanting to actively present that so you can have either one that's thrown off you can have someone that is not wanting to seem sexual and they don't have any sexual energy and they won't give off a sexual vibe. It's like, perfect, okay, two factors and you can get what you want. And then if someone um, does have a really sexual vibe but they wanna present it, then you know they'll come off as like way overly sexual. You guys have a kind of a nice contrasting balance, even though it may seem incompatible where you guys really don't want to come off as super sexual and that's not how you want to present but you kind of have this sexual alluring quality and again this is something i notice in a lot of sex symbols because it's kind of like i feel like people have a fear that if someone is very sexual and they want to present that way that you know that person might be very promiscuous or might cheat on them not saying that's a healthy attitude but i feel like a lot of people have that fear so they might kind of steer clear of someone that's like super open super sexual super upfront about it um whereas someone like you you guys have that kind of ideal like freak in the sheet lady in the streets vibe (laughs) where you guys aren't trying to give off a sexual vibe you guys try to seem very dignified you guys try to be like nice and sweet but you do have this latent sexuality that like a lot of people pick up on um and you have it's like but you guys want to present as very innocent um and you guys aren't the type to be like wanting to go crazy sexually and um be out having a one night stand every night like that is not the vibe and the energy i'm picking up on which i think is very smart because just being honest like as a spiritual you know person you make energetic cords with everyone you sleep with so i think it's very wise that you guys are selective about it because 
I personally think it's just kind of, it's really risky to have a bunch of sexual connections with someone, just with random people, just cause like you don't know their energy. Most people's energy is like stanked up. It's like they have, most people have like a ton of issues and you don't wanna have an energetic cord with them. So it's really good that you guys kind of vet and make sure that each person it, like lives up to your standards. I, mean, I just think it's wise, of course, if someone wants to like live life on the edge and like make all these energetic connections like go for it you know but I personally think it's just like smarter to just be selective because you never really know how someone's gonna be until you like know them a little bit better um, and you don't want to have an energetic core to some loser just being honest like really you don't um, so with that being said like I feel like you guys yeah you guys people can tell that you guys are very selective and it kind of makes you in even more demand like people you know, it's like whenever something becomes like, you know, more off limits, like if, if something was on sale and then suddenly, you know, it's it, there's a run on it and suddenly it becomes very low in quantities that's when you'll see people like lining up outside a store and fighting over an item and selling it for 10 times the worth on ebay so it's like you guys being selective about yourself and really protecting yourself has made you more attractive to people and a lot of people have you as like their ideal crush like a lot of people just imagine you as like dating you would be a dream to them you know and there's this kind of innocent quality where I feel like you guys just spend a lot of time kind of on your own, some of you, where you kind of live in your like dream world and you kind of don't let yourself be affected by other people's, like you don't get pulled in easily into like trashy situations. Um, and so you guys, I feel like wouldn't be the type to be out at a club and like a bunch of your friends are like doing drugs and you know, it's like, it's a trashy, like weird vibe and weird people hanging around or whatever. Even if you were in that situation, I feel like you would kind of keep this protective bubble around yourselves and just be very wise, kind of protected. Like you guys might have some angels looking out for you or whatever, but it's like you guys have managed to keep this kind of innocent quality to you that again, I think people find really attractive. So we also got abundance connection and intimacy so a lot of people just imagine being with you like sexually they just have a lot of fantasies about what that would entail but like to a lot of people like sex with you would mean so much because again they see you as this trophy they see you as this prize so it's kind of like if they could actually get to be with you it would be like oh uh -huh, like the angels singing from heaven it would be like I've arrived, I've accomplished everything, I have my trophy. So it's like, they hold you in such high regard that sex with you would be a big deal. I feel like people who may like have sex with you would get really nervous beforehand. <laughs> and maybe psych themselves out like oh my god like uh, I need to do a really good job because again they hold you as such high esteem and honestly you guys have a very you guys are sexually quite alluring like I would say all of you guys would be good in bed even if you're a virgin you have never had sex like totally cool I feel like you guys don't need to worry because as soon as you have sex you will be like amazing you, you guys will be like amazing like someone has the best sex of their life every time they have sex with you so yeah a lot of people sense that energy about you and they just really are drawn to you so other cards we got is we got the seven of swords we got the queen of wands we got the five of pentacles we got the eight of cups we got the page of wands we got the temperance we got the chariot and we got the ace of cups so again a lot of people like project their emotions and fantasies on you i feel like in a way you guys are almost I don't want to say like a blank canvas because I feel like you guys have a lot of personality and interior like stuff going on. So it's really unfair in a way that people treat you like this, but people project their own fantasies on you like all the time. Like I feel like people just have this idea of you and kind of like this idea that they created in their head of what it what you're like what it would be like to be with you like what your thoughts are and it's like they almost project their own things you guys might have had a few experiences where like uh, someone comes up to you and hits on you and just kind of assumes you're in a relationship or is like way creepily over the top where you're like excuse me you're a friend like what are you doing you know you might have had a few experiences like that where people just kind of 
like dream about being with you and just like take it from point A to point Z and just assume that you're on that level with them you know because it's almost like wishful thinking on their point i feel like you have a lot of people again like this guy is just kind of like you can tell he's walking off to see his girl or the girl he has a crush on and he's just kind of like you can tell he's just kind of dreaming of her staring at that statue being like mm, yeah uh, like probably thinking about her body or whatever like that i feel like a lot of people a lot of people just, you not, may not even be aware that a lot of people crush on you. A lot of people just kind of dream about you. And they really like the kind of innocent quality that you guys have coupled with all the sexuality that you guys exude with the Queen of Wands. Um, so yeah, there is just this quality where people kind of also view you as very luxurious. Like you can see this lady sitting at her table where she just looks like she's in the lap of luxury. I feel like people just assume that you guys will marry very wealthy. You guys will end up with someone who has a lot of money. We also got woman holding a coin, man holding a coin maybe some of you guys are already wealthy or you're on the path to that or you guys are starting a business or something but I feel like there's also this assumption that your romantic partners will be wealthy because it's almost like only a wealthy person could afford you <laughs> because you guys will have so many options but a lot of people I feel like they project their emotions on you and they project kind of this idea of again because they see this vulnerability in you it's almost like they're drawn to that because it echoes some of their issues or whatever and you might just feel like it's like i you are going way too far dude like i never said we were this or i never you know like i feel like that's just something that would happen to you a lot where um people people kind of have this dream world and they don't ask you whether you're a part of it they just kind of fill in the blanks to, in their head of like oh, well, we could go here and we could do that and she's going to look like this when I give her this note. And they don't even imagine that you have your own say in things, you know? So we also got thinker, observer, yang, and round and round. So again, with thinker and observer, a lot of people think about you and just kind of watch you, notice you. Like, I feel like you guys are kind of, in your own way, kind of the center of attention. Like, not that you're seeking that out because I feel like you guys are, again, what people like about you is kind of this vulnerable, soft quality you have to you. But it's like, without trying, you guys have a lot of people who think about you a lot and just watch you. And they're very fascinated by you. A lot of them may be fascinated by your body. You you guys may be kind of curvy and curvaceous and kind of have like you know like a larger chest or like a butt or whatever but I feel like there are just kind of curves you have on you that are very attractive and you're if you're a guy it could be you guys have curves on you or it could be you guys just have a really nice build um, like a really nice build to your body kind of a thing but you guys bring out that sexual energy yang is the masculine sexual energy really or the masculine energy in general and i feel like for many of you you guys bring out that yang masculine sexual drive in others in men um, for those of you who are guys look like asking about women you could just have a lot of that yang sexual energy yourself um so you're just projecting that sexual energy and kind of provoking it in the women you're around but i feel like for this yang card it really is talking about you guys just provoking this sexual side this sexual masculine energy that like is just like oof. i just it's almost like again because you guys project as very vulnerable and sweet that it's like you provoke this kind of protective like go-getter masculine energy so we also got um the five of cups reversed we got the world we got the three of swords we got the eight of swords we got the ten of wands we got the eight of cups we got the two of swords the king of cups the four of pentacles and the judgment 
So yeah, I feel like actually all of these were upright. So five of cups, put that upright. So you can see in so many of these cards, like this one, you know, this guy is just like at this woman's feet and it's kind of the same vibe for a lot of these, like same with this two of swords. Like the energy is just like, he's kind of obsessed with her and she's just turned away. She's just kind of uninterested. He's like, take this rose please. And she's just ignoring him. Um, eight of cups, same, like he just seems way more into this dance than she she is um so i feel like and again with the king of cups again you guys would make like a re i feel like a lot of people just imagine that you will end up a trophy wife or you guys will end up with someone who has a lot of money and it's like a very powerful person because you guys inspire so much sexual attraction in people especially because of your vulnerability i know that i keep saying that but it just is coming through really strong you guys have a very receptive soft energy to you you guys it's like you guys have this kind of fragile quality that makes people want to protect you that makes people want to look out for you and have you and you know it's like um i i feel like it just inspires all this sexual thoughts and stuff i don't know i don't know why but i noticed that kind of fragile quality inspires a ton of sexual like especially in men like it seems to inspire a ton of sexual energy when a woman seems like she's a little bit of a fragile like i don't know broken bird not that you guys seem like a broken bird but you guys have this kind of vulnerability that I think a lot of men find really really attractive like it's like they want to be your hero or something I'm hearing that song by Enrique Iglesias I can be your hero baby so I feel like it's like you guys are in a very feminine energy and so it provokes this masculine but I also feel like you guys are just very pretty or present as very pretty and have like pretty hair um and there's just you guys are kind of like a, a feminine way of presenting yourself so you guys might just although i feel like some of you guys could wear jeans and stuff like that but i feel like i don't know the energy you exude is just very feminine and again if you're a guy it could just be that you don't seem super like over the top masculine like aggressive and maybe women feel safe and like i actually see that in a lot of male sex symbols charts where they'll have like mars and libra or stuff like that which is debilitated so anyway it's like i feel like a lot of times a woman does like a guy who's not super over the top masculine like aggro you know and so anyway whatever you guys are i feel like you just present as kind of sweet vulnerable and people are very drawn to that it's like they kind of feel safe with you and it makes them want to step up to the plate and like earn your affection you know what i mean it makes them be want to be like i'm the one i'm the one who can you know be your hero and fix you and you know and win you over because again they see you as so attractive and as someone who has so many options that they getting you would be like winning a prize you know um and i feel like again people are very fascinated by your body some of you guys might be again that's coming through very curvaceous but i feel like a lot of people just have thoughts about the lines the contours of your body and what that would look like like again because you guys present as kind of demure and not like you guys don't wear you don't try to wear your sexuality on your sleeve but you kind of do anyway even though you try to kind of keep it like locked down you guys are that kind of like you know i don't i don't i want to say like a nun that people still see and like you know are attracted to despite your best efforts to like cover up or whatever like i feel like even though you guys don't um dress super um revealingly that makes you more attractive because people use their imaginations a lot and the imagination and thinking about you and dreaming about you and imagining and thinking is just coming through really strong like i feel like people just spend a lot of their time imagining what you look like undressed and you know um, what you would be like in bed because people can pick up on the fact that you would be very good in bed <laughs> and so they you know they're very drawn to that but then it's like you try to cover it up and you kind of don't want people getting that vibe and so it just makes them want it more you know what i mean it just makes them imagine it more kind of like when you see a no trespassing sign and then you're like well i really want to know what's over there like so um i don't know i just feel like you guys have this really alluring it's almost like you guys have like an ingenue or starlet quality you know like you guys seem kind of 
like young at heart, sweet, vulnerable. And I feel like a lot of people want to be that hero that comes in and saves the day for you or wants to like, you know, be that man that like shows you, you know, the world. And, um, and so it's like you inspire kind of that old time chivalry. Like, you know how chivalry back in the day, I guess all those stories were based around, you know, like a a maiden in distress and then the guy had to like be the knight in shining armor and save her and rescue her and all those stories were like written by men back in the day and it was all the same thing or like you know how modern superhero stories it's like Lois Lane gets like stuck or whatever gets you know like the girl in Spider-Man she's always having like crazy stuff happened to her and then Spider-Man has to run in and save her life like I don't know a lot of guys like that fantasy so I feel like that's something you guys present um kind of like you know Mary Jane from Spider-Man is like a good comparison because I feel like she's kind of vulnerable I'm thinking of like the Kirsten Dunn's Tobey Maguire version from like 1999 um you know how she's kind of vulnerable and like I I don't know what it is she has like I don't know an abusive family or a douchey boyfriend or something but she's like crying a lot in that first movie um and I feel like that just makes Spider-Man like more obsessed with her and more like I need to save her and I want to be the one for her and he just like he falls more and more in love the more she you know presents as kind of like sad and you know like she has problems in her life the more he's like I can be the one to fix that I I will be that one and I'm so drawn to you so if you guys ever get insecure about like coming off as seeming anxious or depressed or like you know don't be because I feel like it adds to your alluring quality and also if that's something you guys want to leave behind and you're like well okay should I not try to fix it you can fix it and you guys will still have this sexual quality I honestly feel like a lot of this is just that you guys project a lot of sexuality that would be there whatever direction you guys take whether you act vulnerable and sad or went over the top or any direction i feel like this is an innate part of your self and you know it's funny because i keep bringing up astrology but it was just it's through astrology that i started realizing that pretty much all the sex symbols and all the people that are like you know considered super attractive or have like this uncanny like unconventional quality that makes them a sex symbol they all have the same stuff going on in their charts it's crazy like look up venus and aries i mean pretty much every female sex symbol not everyone because there's other people i mean obviously like megan fox or angelina jolie but there's so many women that have venus and aries that are famous sex symbols and a lot of guys who have like mars and libra or libra scorpio combination so anyway once i started and a ton of people who have mars and mars sex tell the sun and stuff like that and not to go on and on because i know not everyone's into astrology but i just feel like once i got into astrology is when i noticed that this is like an intangible this is like a specific part of someone's energy field you know what i mean it's not like someone else could wear a dress the way marilyn monroe wore it even have the same body type the same look like jane mansfield looked really similar to marilyn monroe but it was kind of the vulnerable way marilyn monroe would talk and kind of like this really young voice and kind of breathy and kind of you know seem unsure of herself and that like energy coupled with her innate sexuality was the thing that was like the dynamite you know what i mean and so i feel like it's like you can go in different directions there's other you know famous sex symbols that present differently and don't do the vulnerable thing so if you guys want to grow out of this or you guys are like well i'm working on fixing my anxiety or my attachment you can and you guys will still radiate this sexuality i just feel like this is where your energy is at right now and if we ask the people that are super attracted to you which i feel like there's a lot they would talk about this stuff about you they would be like oh like oh my god you know she's a little bit vulnerable and i just really want to protect her that kind of a thing you know because i feel like you just bring out that like masculine like oh protect um like that you see in a lot of like superhero stories or in a lot of chivalry stories again a lot of those were written by dudes um and so it's like that's just a part of i don't know this archetype a lot of men have and um so 
anyway like you guys could take it in either direction you want don't feel like you have to stay in this energy if you want to grow into more like self-assured thing trust me this sexuality that i'm talking about i couldn't i can't read all your charts but i'm sure all of you would have some kind of sexual quality i'm sure of it so some of you guys if you're interested you might look to see if pluto is aspecting your sun or your ascendant or mars or eros something like that something's going on i don't know um or you might have mars and scorpio venus and aries um again mars and libra it could be um but i just feel like there is just su such a sexual quality to you guys and then it's coupled by you guys not really you don't have to try at it you guys are not having to try to unleash the sexuality so many people try to be sexy try to unleash like a sexuality it's kind of like again like when pamela anderson was in baywatch she was so much a sex symbol and there were a million other blondes that you know looked really similar to her at the time but everyone was obsessed with pamela and so you guys have this innate quality to you that has that pure sexual energy that a lot of people would kill for so just feel very confident about that and i feel like right now it's manifesting through you guys being a little bit vulnerable a little bit buttoned up a little bit um you know like i said lady in the streets and i think that's great and if it's something also you guys are like well i want to be more powerful or i want to get over my anxiety issues i feel like that you totally could and you'll still retain all this super strong sexuality so um yeah you guys are a very attractive powerful group you guys for sure inspire a lot of fantasies and a lot of people so try to keep this reading a little pg-13 but <laughs> You guys were definitely veering it into like an 18 plus um, for sure because, I mean, there's just so many people that have so many, they're so attracted to you on such a deep level. So I really hope that helped you guys. Please let me know if it did and if you have any reading requests or you want to see an 18 plus or something, I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Um, and I love hearing all your thoughts, all your reactions. So please let me know if it resonates. And make sure to like and subscribe. I post every few days. So if you want to see more videos, make sure you're subbed and have those notifications on so you'll find out as soon as I post. So I will see you guys in the next reading. I am sending you so much love and light. Have an amazing day, guys. Bye.